Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And who's this? Oh my god, oh, hey it's Erlen! It? We've got a special guest here today, and uh, he has never met Sprite before, no, just, so it's... just meeting this guy. This, new introductions. Today we're going to be playing some brand new 7800 games. Let's put the appropriate sign up there. Oh, there's uh, signs now? Uh, okay. Yeah. I'm always out of the loop. I always changed a bit. We've got a little light bar up here. And... Oh, a little LED. And it's like rotating. That's yeah. really nice. And uh, all signs so can designate the day of wow. the games we're going to be playing. I remember when it was only 2600. Yeah, exactly. This, this back, back in my day. Back in, we only played <laughs> 2600. None of 7800 games. business. It's <laughs> just <right>. purely... <laughs> We got to branch out, play all, we play all the Atari games now. We've which got, makes so much sense. Got an 8-bit, we've got a consoleized Lynx, which was the handheld Atari system. Yeah, we're playing them all. Uh, today we're going to be playing Drone Patrol by Atarius Maximus. He is in and out of the chat. Oh, shit. Uh, we're going to be playing uh, ra an updated Rat Trap that we've played before. Uh, ICBM, a new game from 2600. <laughs> We're also going to be playing the release candidate, number one of Game of the Bear, Polar Opposites, which allows us to do a full playthrough of the game. Okay, so cool. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but first, let's thank our Twitch subscribers who are gently scrolling down beside Erlen to his left, your right. I think, oh, yeah. Right and uh, <laughs> Arkham H7, Arkham Armstar Coder, Atari 1974, Atari HB, or Pocock, Charles Donnymel, Charles and Check, Charles Whelan, Chitlet Law, Colonel Lama, Cuban Isbo, Dianoid, Daryl 1970, Drexel, Dr. Mook, House, Gamma Dev, uh, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Ivory Tower Collection, Johnny WC, Carl G. Ken Jennings, Invader, Croc, O, 2600, Gvelthifer, Lambda Express, Lauren TDZ, Mark Yans, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Mr. Zarn, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Nostalgic, Pack Rav, VG, Koag, R. Anschwitz, Raymond CRC70, Red Goes, Pantless, VG, Garcado Pim, Smitty B, Spice Roy, Walsh, Man, Tiki Down, K, Tifos, Trek MD, Urban Monkey, and VVG, Double Down. And just before the show, a whole bunch of people subscribed. S. Ramirez, Atarius Maximus, Ground Trooper, Dan ABC, Damn. and Al Nefer. Thank you so much for supporting I the show. A lot of those names, which is really cool. Excellent. Yeah, I, yeah, we like, have some long time watchers. Some OGs. Awesome. If you want to subscribe to the show and help us out, uh, keep us rich in homebrews and uh, equipment that fails, um, <laughs> you can help. Uh, by, it's inevitable, uh, the failure of oh, technology. Oh, 100%. It's actually a miracle Especially if stuff you... that's 40 years old, 45 years old. I mean, old. what computer from 40... Like, I can't think of... Like, after about five years of yeah. a computer, you're kind of looking at upgrading definitely components, pieces. Yeah. if not the whole thing. So. so I'm really surprised, you know, this stuff keeps going. Um, some of it has been repaired. Some of it is, you know, original that has not really been touched and, and fixed. So I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised yeah. by the longevity of this. Um, yeah, you can subscribe with Amazon Prime uh, for free if you have Amazon Prime. If not, you pay. You pay. But right. it's free if you have Amazon Prime. Uh, we have a poll question. Uh, Ooh, let's... okay, I'm excited. Maybe, is this one I can answer? Or 100%. is this going to be in my world? At all? Oh, yeah, 100%. Okay, okay, sick. I'm excited. So the poll question is, what physical media do you still buy? Do I still buy? Ooh. Yeah, that like say within the past year or so. Def. Okay, so so the options are, video games, mm -hmm. uh, movies, books, magazines, music, comics, or none of the above. So uh, as as time goes on, these have all been replaced. That's right. Uh, with digital media. And uh, even better than the original, like you can get better detail, higher resolution right. on some of them. Um, and you can get them instantly. You don't have to go to a store. You don't have to buy them online. And you can buy, uh, do more than one. I think it's, yeah, you do, uh, I think it's space one. Let's see. One, two. Yeah, you can do commas or spaces. Um, and those all were on physical media and now all of them can be done with digital yeah what what are your answers to this like what's your uh, i obviously still buy video games D yeah I, <laughs> that's... <laughs> actually recently rearranged the uh the shelves up here so you can uh you pan up and see now mostly homebrew 
own a microphone, the third wall is falling. That's right. Oh my God, there's fourth a fourth wall is falling apart. So you can see there's a whole bunch of homebrew. There's 2600 is the whole bottom shelf there, and then there's 7800 up there, and Vectrex. Anyway, so that is obviously I do buy video games, and because it, it goes along with. Let's see if I can get this back. There we go. Because it goes along with uh, the type of game uh, consoles 100%. that I play. They are cartridge based, but you can download ROMs. Those the, even for these old consoles, you can download ROMs. There's multi carts. Um, there's even for the twenty six hundred a way to play them digitally by downloading them off of the internet with the Plus card. So that is. Uh, let me just scroll back yeah, so yeah, I can see, see the list. Video games, yes. Movies, yes, That's right. and there's a reason for the movies because one, I can just get them at any time, which you could do with mm -hmm. digital. But there's literally, like I was, I was doing, we did last weekend, last weekend, a movie marathon on um, the Safety Brothers. Oh, should I miss this? Did this second, happen? Yeah. Oh, wait, it, second part's coming up. Okay, I'll, I'll hit the second part. I'm sorry, I didn't know that was. Oh, happening. totally fine. Uh, it was very interesting. Yeah. We, we'll discuss it. Okay, I don't cool. know if how many Safety Brothers movies you've I've seen. I've seen most of their um, big ones, okay. but I, I think if this was the first round, it you might have been You probably haven't of... seen most of yeah. these then. Okay, well, uh, we'll, but we'll go back to that yeah, as a we'll discussion. Um, some of these are nowhere. You oh, yeah. cannot stream them. You cannot download them. You can only buy them on physical media from France. <laughs> That's the only place I could <laughs> buy them. They're big in France. What can I say? Uh, books... Uh, no. Uh, Tanya does ebooks. I rarely read books. I'm busy with so many other things. Yeah. Uh, magazines. I can't remember the last time I bought a magazine. Probably the very long time yeah. ago, mid 90s, maybe. Uh, music. That went away a yeah. long time ago. I know a lot of kind of vinyl heads, people yes. who like that's their thing. And I totally understand that side of things yes. where like the it's art. It's a nostalgic thing. The art is huge. You know, 12 by 12 inches. Also just the medium. Liner notes. Yeah, and the medium itself where you like really listen to an album. You start yes. your needle and you go like, I understand that whole world I'm because <laughs> cause whenever I listen to Spotify, which is what I listen to exclusively yeah. pretty much, yeah. no matter what, you're kind of listening to like, um, whatever thing it sends you down yes. or you start to listen to something and then you get distracted and you end up playing something else. Like but a vinyl makes you listen yeah. to it's the a, whole yeah. thing because it's an effort to change yeah. records. And, and it stuff. feels like a piece of art in a way. Yeah. Um, it is. They I, put it in that order. There's specific amount of spaces between song to let you reflect on what you just heard. They put some songs on side one, some songs on side two. And even, you know, the last song on side two they got to match it to side one again because they right. don't know where the person's listening, right? Um, comics, that's been a long time. Probably 2000, maybe, was yeah. the last comic. Um, so, uh, I, for me, I'm going to put uh, one, two. Yeah, those yeah. are mine. Yeah. So what about for you? For me, it would be pretty much exclusively books at this point. Right. I'm a big collector of books and I love like reading and I love like I have like a library that's meaningful to me with right. different sections of things on like different categories. But what I find with books for me is I love going to used bookstores and trying to find books that are like mm. very difficult to order. Right. Like one of my like um, like hobbies is I love finding like old um, fairy tales, things Ooh. that are like written in different cultures cultures and different stories Ooh, that's and, interesting and like that's the kind of thing that like you can't just order you can get like the brothers Grimm or like the famous ones but but to find like a little like book of like russian stories from like the 80s or their morality it, tales right it right. reflects their culture and what they're trying to put upon the people and teach them things through these Sometimes very gruesome. Yeah, <laughs> and they're and they're short, which is so neat as well. Like it's hard to find like interesting short stories, yeah. and they're really and then also like books on all kinds of topics. I find super interesting, like science fiction novels and things like that. <laughs> so I'll definitely like buy books, but um, uh, I think that to me there's a very like there's a kind of like this precious medium but in terms right. of video games um most of the stuff i do like hasn't even because i buy i mostly play contemporary games and there right. honestly isn't even like you can't even really buy them like for most part no unless they're like 
triple a titles and even then you buy you like, have to update it immediately yeah and you it's almost, like oh this is just the loader yeah and you buy you download like, 50 gigs of it i think it was like there was a couple games that came out that like basically you would like open up and the cd would actually not be a cd yes. it would be like a link Piece to a paper. thing that like, then you go and you're like why did i buy this case that actually literally doesn't have anything like people buy those knowingly just to have it on their shelf yeah. It does nothing. It contains nothing. It's but people buy uh, Funko Pops. They buy you know Captain America shields, yeah. and I see that as the same thing, except not as interesting yeah. as as this thing on their shelf. But yeah, they buy it knowingly that there's nothing in there but a code. Yeah, they want. Which to... I find a little weird. Yes. That part of it. it's like that's what you're collecting. A, piece of plastic yeah. I mean it's... who might have talk but <laughs> but it's also like you can actually plug it in like that's the weird part is it's like there's like when there's literally nothing that you can do with this cartridge it's <laughs> yes. like oh so this sends me to a URL that down yeah like, here's what is... your QR code like why don't I just go to that thing like you what are we could've. doing like 100% there's it, it doesn't allow you more than anyone else ha allows you for getting this sometimes they include DLC as part of it because mm. you bought it um, Ivory Tower Collection says, I'm honest, I'll be honest that I buy the CD, rip it at high quality, and it's added to my personal digital library, yeah, which is what I did with all the CDs I did have. I still have a bunch of CDs, and those CDs I still have are nowhere else. Yeah. Like, I s literally cannot stream them anywhere. They don't exist, and that's why I keep them around. That the other ones, they do exist, but they could disappear at any time. And I think the saddest thing is, like, older music, like like old like for example i was i'm really like i really love jazz music and yeah. some of the old like jazz albums right you they're hard to actually find um that's where like vinyl and cd can be awesome because yes. you can kind of especially like the stumbling upon one when you like are digging through some cds you find some weird like <laughs> strange thing that's yeah. clearly out like there no one's making this anymore like there are those actual like physical discoveries that can be made yeah um, when you get into uh, things like outside the realm of pop music it gets hard to find it streaming. Like I have some prog rock uh, um, people, uh, bands that I listen to, they don't exist online yeah. anywhere. Or it's an old band that really didn't go anywhere and they released one album and you can't even find any mention of them on the internet. Like I have a bunch of stuff like yeah. that. And it's like, that's all you're going to get. Then they just disappear into the ether forever. I also have this like thought too sometimes that like, you know, it's nice to have physically something because, like, if your computer for inexplicably That's gets right. stolen, for like example, oh, yeah. and maybe nothing's like uploaded, like most things have cloud, but it's entirely possible there could be a scenario where you lose all this digital data and. Yep. What do you do? I mean, obviously your CD collection or like vinyls can get lost and all this yeah. stuff. But Some of it I I wouldn't be able to replace. Like it just doesn't exist anywhere else. You know? I, I know a buddy of mine actually with vinyls, he would buy them and then if he was running out of money, he would sell his vinyl records <laughs> to get to get money because they yeah. actually hold value. Oh, um, I've got I've got some that are like, oh my god, it's worth that much. That's crazy. And that's the and I can see why people like really do like vinyl for that because yeah. in terms of an investment like yeah. you do hold it holds some so i think probably a lot of the homebrew games and pieces you have if you ever want to resell i think you could at least make a bit back like a cd it's uh, like good my, luck my collection is <laughs> is fairly new compared to like some of the people out there because yeah. i got into it a little bit later then like i got into around 2014 15 and that's when i started my collection and they started at least 2600 started in 95 so there's that 10 year gap or 20 year gap <laughs> that I that I missed out on so um yeah definitely some of these people could sell this homebrew and homebrew is like you know short runs yeah very eclectic stuff and so that would be worth a little bit yeah and I, I know for movies um uh, I don't have as big of a movie collection as I used to yeah but like now that I look at some of the streaming services like they obviously present decent um quality but at times you look at them and you're like, this is not the optimum quality to be no. playing something back, as particularly the sound, like, oh, you yeah, know, yeah. from a streaming service. It, it gets the job done and is so convenient. But in terms of, yeah. like, a proper, like, you know, home theater experience, I think a Blu-ray or like is a really actually a great, like, oh, piece, yeah. especially, you know, you have a 5-1 mix that will, like, actually yeah. work. You know that, exactly. like, you're not, you know it's actually going to play in the time that it plays. Yeah, because like, I've seen stuff, like, just streaming in stereo 
and yeah. that's all they have. And I know that there's a five one mix of it. And you'll and, see, and you'll and see also like, commentary, like all the bonus stuff, all the you know short films that are included. That does not exist online, or it's super rare to yeah. find a commentary track, which is really weird because they have all the languages. Why not just include one more? the commentary track and i think that would be a really cool bonus thing to have streaming why are they doing yeah. that and you're at the mercy of your bandwidth sometimes too like you're watching it and you're like oh, yeah. why is this now like 480p okay now we're, <laughs> yes. you know it's, it's like it's kind of phasing around. in between and you'll yeah. see like this weird artifacting that'll come up and, and disappear it's and way like... more compressed than blu-ray or 4k blu-ray as well um so you're not getting the same quality streaming which is why i like to buy them um yeah. on uh, hey, digital buddy. Anyway, let's move on uh, to the games. Oh, it's pretty pretty even, but most people are still buying movies. Less than video games that's, from this crowd. That's surprising. That's really cool to hear. That is very cool. Yeah, and I, I think I'm just I happen to be like a book <laughs> book guy. So. Yeah, so in first place, actually, is music. That's even more surprising. Yeah, I guess vinyl has to be like, you know. Yeah, like, that's a research. And I feel like this this like uh, uh, group as well, I feel like there's probably some people in the chat of some wow. insane vinyl collections. Oh my God, Like yes. some just out of control. Cool 100%. Vinyl and they're still like reacquiring stuff they remember from long ago and they go into the stores and get the vinyl. It's like, yeah. yeah. Um, and they reissue new vinyl uh, from old stuff. Bigger, bigger bands, bigger known stuff, yeah. My car is a CD player, so I like them for that. Yeah, most yeah. cars don't have a CD player actually mm. anymore. They have nothing. It's no tape player, no CD. It's all digital. Yes, Bluetooth or like you plug yeah. in the thing. <laughs> but right. sometimes it's like the like the cords, not even the current cord. You're like, yeah. oh no. Uh, USB. Yeah. Yeah, USB. Um, okay, and then uh, yeah, first music, thirty three percent. Movies, twenty six percent. Oh, none of the above. Thirty. Is that thirteen? Thirteen percent. And then a four-way tie for video games, books, magazines. Oh, comics is twelve point five. I, I also think like a like a X factor for this is if anyone's moved recently. Do you know what oh, I mean? Like like yeah. when you go through a move, you you definitely like have to have you're this like, moment mm, where you're do like, do I really oh. want to move all this plastic? <laughs> yeah. Pack it all up. Yeah. But then sometimes you you know there's some like you know there's some casualties of war. You know you look <laughs> oh. back and you're like oh maybe I shouldn't have Damn ditched it. that. You know. Yeah. But all of these things that were listed, I still have all these mm -hmm. things. I still have magazines. Yeah. I still have comic books and CDs and movies. Um, even stuff on VHS that literally that's the only medium oh, yeah. they exist on. So let's get into oh, the game. I haven't, I haven't donned the, uh, <laughs> the, the Atari in so long. So let's see if I even remember. <laughs> How does Luck this thing work? Luckily, it's not a mouse or keyboard. What, what the hell doing? is this? I can't play the piano with my left hand. <laughs> That's right. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, so the first game we have up is, oh, yeah. Uh, Drone Patrol by Steve Englehart, Atarius Maxima. Okay, sick. So let's load that up. Yeah, you man. Buddy, you're eating the cord. I don't think that James would like that. Uh, oh, he is. What, <laughs> what are you doing? He doesn't eat cords. He's you're a naughty cat. The other cat eats cords. Oh, he's showing off. Dude, he's like... That's what's going on. Maximus Games. This is 7800, correct? Presents. That is correct. Wow, okay, cool. Um, so, Drone Patrol, let's go to mission briefing and learn about this game. I want to fucking get briefed. Okay. Our city is under attack. It's your job as the commander of the city's Drone Patrol to destroy the evading infantry and mechanized vehicles and prevent the destruction of our city. Uh, there's some... It's all good. I, uh, I know. I've, so, I've destructed some things. <laughs> Destruct! <laughs> avoid missiles. Avoid cannons. So those are the two things you need to avoid. The enemy is the enemy is unleashing a powerful counterattack with radar-equipped cannons and heat-seeking missiles in an effort to destroy our fleet of drones. We can't let that happen, Commander. Oh, Fire at will. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Page I'm one ready. of eight. Keep going. Page one of eight? Okay. <laughs> Weapons briefing. Use the left fire button to fire your laser and the right fire button to drop one of your three three equipped smart bombs you will oh, receive shit. only three per mission as shown as your status bar all visible enemies are destroyed it's like a hail mary boom there we go okay uh watch your status bar for your laser power as it will discharge with use when it reaches zero a recharging drone will appear 
Uh, make contact with the recharging drone to restore laser power. Actually, I don't think this is the updated version of this game. Oh, no. Um, oh, go back a second. Um, make contact with the recharging drone to restore laser power. Uh, recharge. Okay. Using your laser, you have unlimited laser recharges during your mission. Uh, the laser can be fired for a limited amount of time. You will then need to release the trigger mechanism and re-engage to take another shot. Okay. Uh, so that's your drone. That's you. The drone's specialized laser weapon is powerful enough to destroy all known enemy invaders with a single shot. Okay. Oh, high pitch noise. Uh, shields. Due to our advanced shielding technology, direct hits will not cause the destruction of your drone, but a slow drain of the overall health of your drone's shield. So your shield goes down. It's not one hit death. Okay, thank God. Medical vehicle. A, a, oh, change tone. Uh, avoid shooting the medical vehicle. They got a melody going dun, on. <laughs> dun, dun. Uh, it is a magnetic defense, has magnetic defense mechanism that will drain your shield's health if it's attacked. So don't shoot the medics as in all war scenarios yeah don't be don't do not be doing this you get in trouble if you're the losing team uh mechanized vehicles there are three types of military vehicles you need to, oh now it's gone to target with your laser attack oh no it's just a different tone yeah it's just like uh, it's lowering its frequency <laughs> a missile transport a troop transport and a healthy armed tank so shoot all three of those there's the points for them defeat as many possible as they traverse the city streets there are also there are three types of enemy soldiers you need to target with your laser attack. They wear blue, yellow, and orange uniforms. All are equally lethal. I like how the the soldiers cost more than like yeah. more points than like the well, tanks. You harder know? to hit, but yeah. Because yeah, uh, defeat as many as possible. Okay, cool. Uh, you may select your desired difficulty level based on your experience with piloting a drone. You may choose from novice, at standard, advanced, and expert. I'm gonna go with standard. I feel like if you're doing easy... The audio in the background is unintentional. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, what is causing audio? Emergent design is what's happening. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's just, <laughs> it's free form. Uh, uh, you may choose from novice, standard, advanced, and expert. Easy, one missile, powerful laser, and slow enemies. Standard, three missiles. That's interesting, you, you only get one missile on easy. I guess it's so easy only I guess it's one. slow enemies. They're probably like, yeah. yeah. Oh, one missile attacking you. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, standard three missiles, medium laser power and enemy speed. Advanced three missiles, faster speed, two cannons and weaker laser. That's your laser. Expert, the ultimate challenge for the experienced pilot. Do, 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 do. Holy shit. Mega Holy drones shit. and okay, password. Dude. Intelligence suggests the existence of 10 mega drones. <laughs> And each uh, has unique and advanced weaponry and defenses. Their exact capabilities are unknown. Victory grants a full shield recharge. Well, that's good. Okay. That's After that's... defeating a mega drone, you will be granted a secure password that can be used to continue your mission from the exact location. This feels like a boss. Do you when know it stops, this is Bowser right here. Oh yeah. When the sound stopped, my head actually felt smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Okay. Let's do this. Uh, let me load up the new version of this because we do want to be playing the newest he just okay, updated yeah, yeah. this today just before the show no problem real important yeah i'm gonna go with standard i just feel like when you do easy it's like are you yes. really playing it it's not the full experience when you do easy uh unless it's an insanely hard game there yeah. are games where I, I think it's fine but i always want to start and i used to have a buddy that would just like always do the hardest setting oh god he would start on the hardest oh in every game that he played and he would just like mock you if you didn't do that <laughs> but then you just hear him screaming at his computer oh god of course <laughs> for everything because some games are like really honestly like especially some of these stealth games are like not designed to be at the hardest setting They're, they <laughs> no. really are meant to there is kind of like almost like uh like some of them are almost impossible in the hardest setting yeah so you can kind of no life them you know <laughs> oh, watching no. for work Shh. okay we'll be we'll be Shh. turn this into Don't a quiet tell us an asmr stream that's know? right <laughs> hope your work is going well <laughs> uh actually i did have the uh, most up-to-date version excellent okay sick so good Let's pop that in. Yeah, Tarius Maximus is watching from work. He's the developer. Oh, sick, man. So, uh, hopefully you can... What a great name. It is. Yeah. It's a great a... name, Atarius. He's the Maximus Atarius. Some, some gladiator in him. You know? <laughs> That's right. It does sound like that. Okay, loading it back up again. It is a big, big game. It's 512K. It is Someone a stole large... your spot. 
Oh, he's still not quite sure about you. <laughs> there we go. And we're back. Maximus Games. Good logo, too, man. I like your logo. Very nice logo. Okay, standard, password, drone patrol, start. Okay, should we... Should uh, so you're on the right setting, standard? Okay, good. Let's go for it. Okay, so I think it's like, what, lasers on the left, bombs on the right. Yes. Kill everything but the medical vehicle. Soldiers exactly. are better. Okay. Avoid the missiles going along the top. See, am I, like, I'm on top? Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, so I like. There you go. Oh, I see. Avoid I see. those things too. Oh, you don't get unlimited lasers. Well, you do. You have to recharge them though. Nice. Oh, no, don't shoot that. Ah. Okay, I'm. Okay, I'm understanding. I'm understanding a bit. I see why. Like, it would be easy with just one. One up top. Yeah. One up top. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Stay out of the way of that guy. Ah! Oh, oh, okay, I was like, yeah, because yeah, if you stare too much at the bottom. Yes. Yeah, it's like a split. Oh, oh. Now, there's no time limit, so you're not racing against the okay, clock, which is good. You, have, you can take your time. And the only things kind of going after you are the missiles at yeah. top and those... Uh, stationary lasers, which are not really a threat if you kind of stay out of their way. And there's nothing really pushing you towards them, really, so those are fine. Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. So let me read a little bit about this game while you're playing. Oh, there's your refill. Go up to the top. Uh, 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 no, come on, give it to me. Okay, okay, no good, no good. Oh, is that my refill? Yeah. Okay. Now your laser's back fuller. Not full, but fuller. Um, I want to kill these medics. Okay. So this was first posted no. on March 6th. Um, Is that it? 528. Yeah, you lost all your shields. Oh, it's a tough world. Right fire to restart. Right fire? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, so on March 6th, he said, uh, this, here's my latest project, Drone Patrol. I've been playing around with horizontal parallax. And you can see there's four levels of parallax along the bottom of the city. Um... There's like a, a distant city and then three, Ooh. well, you're just riding that laser. <laughs> oh man, it's, there's so much to like pay attention to. There this. is. There's... You have the laser, you kind of have to have your eyes on like, you're getting to enter in like a zen state and just like, do. and find and be able to like examine like the, you know, the war on all fronts. I mean, if you're commanding general, you got to pay attention to the missiles. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I just killed oh. my medic. Oh, no, no. Oh. no. You got very upset and changed color. He did. Um, that was a faux pas of. Uh, I've been playing around with horizontal parallax scrolling and used some example code from MK Smith. I'm far enough long that I try to share my progress. This is definitely a work in progress. There's a lot left to do. Many things will likely change. There's no music, although there are sound effects. No level progression, but there isn't. Uh, and the menu options currently don't do anything. They do not. Uh, some graphics will likely be changed. When your health reaches zero, the game ends. You must reset the game to start over. And then an update on April 18th. Uh, this version includes a user's guide or mission briefing, selectable from the main menu. Well, I maybe could have squeezed this into the existing 272 ROM with some creative bank switching and DMA hole usage. It was easier to simply extend the ROM to 528. That also gives me plenty of additional space should I come up with any ideas for the game. No. Unfortunately, the Concerto does not support this ROM size and the Color Cart 2 does not support ROM size larger than 512. As a result, I don't have any way to test this on real hardware. That's so funny. Guess what, dude? We're the test. We're testing it out. It's happening. You have no way to test it. You got yeah, James. That's right. James is Luckily, here. a bunch of people um, do have Dragonfly. Um, right now, I don't think you can buy a Dragonfly because of chip shortages still or chip costs um it work in the dragonfly for those who have have one it runs a great in emulation on the a78 um and this is the latest update today this is a brand new version today like last hour this was released holy shit i've got so much uh, extra rom space now i thought i'd experiment a little uh with some extra some little extras. One of the first 7800 basic game demos I wrote about a, a decade ago, Boom, was modified and added. It is selectable from the main menu as a different game to play. Uh, so we'll have to check that out briefly after. I changed a few things and used some of the Drone Patrol graphics for the game. It's a standard Kaboom style game. The main difference uh, is the fast moving tank at the bottom will also block a bomb if one yes. hits it. Um, 
the soldiers running on the screen don't actually do anything in the game. I'll probably make some tweaks still. Uh, I did this pretty quickly. Maybe I'll add to one of my other older games in there as well. It can be a drone patrol multi-cart. Oh! Uh. Threading the needle. Sometimes you get, you get blocked off. I realize I haven't used any of my, like, nukes uh, yet. I'm going to use one. Bam. There you go. Oh, but just to show it off. Because I was like, I've died, like, <laughs> four times. Oh, no. <laughs> I think I've died, like, four times. Well, I still have 37 shield. It doesn't say what you need to get. Oh, you made it. Oh, shit. Okay, I got to the Lost next level. time. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Is this the mega drone? Mega drone. Oh, fuck. So oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, he oh, shoots. Fuck. He shoots and he... Oh. Okay, 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 okay. And okay. he has a laser. Okay. Oh, my God. Gotta shoot We're him. outmatched. There you go. But and not for this general. Not this commander. What is it? The commander general? Uh, I can't remember the term. Called? Oh, it's in the menu. Yeah, I can't remember. Oh, oh, oh. You need Do to I get up to five thousand points to see the first boss. So every five thousand. Okay, so I, we at least at least I managed to like. Don so the... you have sixty-four hit points now left. Sixty-one. <laughs> uh, the predator has two hundred fifty-seven hit points. Um, so you got to get some more hits in there. Okay, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, Twitch. <laughs> don't worry, Twitch. You'll get there. We got this. Very cool. Tactics, huge. dude. Tactics. Hold up. Hold up. No. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, okay. Very okay, angular. Okay, okay. So his missiles can reach the left-hand side? Yeah. Okay, okay. I think. He does stop shooting. Uh, no, he doesn't. Uh, it's uh, random. Uh, I feel like I'm like... We almost got him. Yeah! Oh, shit. Very close. Congratulations. The predator has been defeated. Here's your password. Difficulty That's okay. Stop. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip over this. Level up. Oh, shit. Health and laser recharged. Oh, shit. Okay, new level. Let's go. Let's go, boys. What is Let's that? go, team. Oh, those missiles just, are fast. Dude, I already destroyed a medic. This is... <laughs> mistakes were made. Yeah. Not, still have good shield. Not, good. not like this, boys. Not like that. <laughs> no, I'm already killing medics. No. No, no I don't want to. No. <laughs> oh, I think the other one absorbed Did I like... Shot. Oh, okay. I think, because he didn't change color. So I think okay, you're okay, still okay. okay. Password, you're gonna code in some save key support, perhaps? Uh, Tyrus Maximus says, for the other game I included from the main menu in the start game line, push left or right to select drone patrol or drone bomber. I think the password would be like, if you get past like a bit later in the oh, in yeah. the deal, like I think I think if you can, if you need to save the password after the first fight, it's like you should just like keep playing and practicing. I think so, yeah. But I think if you're making it to like, maybe like the third boss, that's yeah. where like you might want to password it, you know? And the, and the good thing about this game is that if you defeat the boss, it's a complete reset. That's right. This is really nice, actually. Yeah. So I you know you can continue from any place you want and you will be like starting from fresh. Yeah, I feel like hugging that left wall was the way for that boss. Like, I don't know if you saw that tactic, I but I just, it felt like, cause it's, I noticed that like he didn't seem to sort of like attack, back. come on. Oh, the, these missiles too. Also, I can see how like the when, when initially the descriptions of like, um, you know, one missile, slower moving people. Yes. I didn't understand what that meant, but now that I played it, I'm like, yeah, one missile and like slow moving people. <laughs> Would make it a little bit easier. Very Quite a bit easy. easier. And I can see why the why the people are like, uh, um, yeah, because they're tiny, they're moving fast. Oh, time for boss two. Are you kidding me? Score one ten thousand. Holy shit! Oh shit! Nice. Oh shit! Um. Oh, there's something else. Oh, oh. oh so now I see why how this is like oh, now. Because, now he's figured out your tactic. But like, and he's put some dude, missiles. I'm, I want to stay in the. I'm gonna stay in the pocket, dude, with this guy. Yep. Staying in the pocket. I can't move quick enough. The oh, pocket might no. not be the place to be. <laughs> I think it is still. I'm, I'm like, I'm riding this close to the. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Destroyed him. Oh. Destroyed him. I was like, offense is the best defense for this, for this guy. Ivory Tower Collection says I've heard that 7800 Game Drive is built in HSC and Save Keep support along with Save States. That's what I've heard. Anyway. Okay, the level, wow. of, the level of challenge is going up. I think that would be a nice addition. Oh shit. I'm learning how to dodge missiles. <laughs> so is your eye drawn to, are you going back and forth or are you kind of just watching for shapes up above and concentrating on the bottom? I'm, I've, after playing a couple rounds, I realized that the missiles are exclusively what's killing me, uh, right? Cause that's actually the only threat to you. It really so is. like, and I finding this S pattern, do you know what I mean? Like I'm kind of like, I, I'm like, it kind of comes up. Like, and they're kind of grouped together and too. Like, 
and, and but like sometimes you'll just get wedged in and there's no mm. options but then it's also this thing if you're just dodging missiles yeah you're not actually getting points you're not playing really. so yeah because like you know you can just dodge missiles forever and never level up yeah. so you need to like balance it but i but i do think that like the most important thing um, that's been allowing me to like go a bit farther is just like being a bit more on where my missiles are But I'm almost noticing right. that like you kind of dodge them and you have a little bit of a window to then take some shots True, they're kind of grouped together more or less. Yeah, they're, they're so, kind of splitting apart now But you do get a little window because like here now there's a that's rhythm where I can kind of focus and then they kind of come back So I'm noticing that like there is a kind of pattern to yeah, like yes. here you see like Huge now window. Now Huge. I can like shoot and now I got to worry about the missiles again but like here uh it's it's still dicey dude there's no there's no way about it there's no two ways about it like here like the double missile but i find this s pattern is nice because they're heat seeking missiles right so yeah. if you stay in the bottom they're gonna go to the bottom then you go up around them yeah, yeah. and and you kind of and if they get too clumped together is when you're is when you're done r.i.p <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, this will be halfway to the next one. Af after the if I when I when I inevitably die, <laughs> uh, this is my run. Recharger, laser, commander. <laughs> oh, you're boom! Dead. Take that. I keep forgetting I have those missiles. I'm so like um. Your, oh, he'll be back. Oh, recharge soon. I was like, oh, it's not coming. Give me, give me that. Give me that laser. Nice. Yeah. So I'm noticing that like uh, it's rumored to have. Pallets have been added to 7800 GD to support cold, warm, and hot color huge things. Oh, like, see, this Again, is huge rumor. danger with the top of the Are you spreading these rumors? I, I read our collections <laughs> in hopes, <laughs> hopes you'll add them. But I see that it, I, I can see him being able to add those quite quite easily. Rumor has it. Oh, what no, are you doing? You're uh, camping above the laser. Oh, I was just... That's the thing. I pause. I stopped oh. moving. This is a game that, like, actually I'm noticing, too, that benefits from movement. Like, the second yeah, you that can't you stop... Sit still. You cannot sit still in this. And like, uh, the, and the laser seems to actually hug the the left, um, you know, like oh. hug the right. Sorry. Yeah. So like, I'm noticing that like, if I just go, like, if I stay kind of far left, yep. it's better. And also, the missiles are gonna like spawn on the right. So there's uh, almost yes. no benefit to being like on the right. Smart. Keep that laser on the right and stay on the left. Yeah. It seems. And... Those seem to be the tactics. In some ways, this is more of a game of survival. If you can just hold on. Yep. Just need one more dude. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, okay, I'm scared. Stalker. I'm scared. I'm in such danger. Oh, moving missiles. Oh my god, this one. Oh, he's got two. Oh my god. Wow. This guy's got a lot of offensive weaponry. Oh shit! You can see if I just if I can like stay on the like the left where I can still hit him and, and be out. And he moves up and down. But the I, last one didn't move up and down. I don't have any bombs either. Oh, they disabled the bombs. Oh, you I don't got think him. I ever had bombs, but like. I just got him. Okay, and I gotta stay low enough that my lasers hit. Come on, dude. You oh. oh Almost. Oh, 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 no 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 no. Oh, oh you're so close. Oh. Okay, I think that's oh. gonna be the PB. I don't know if we'll get better than that. <laughs> No spark bombs. Yeah, I Megatrons. don't think there ever was. I just, but I kept hitting it, being like, "Where are my bombs?" So he's got drone bomber. Oh. Drone. So you do, do you want to try bomber and see what the difference yeah, is? Yeah, let's do a bomber. And then you can. Like, then I'll go back. Yeah, and then you can take it home with the. Oh, is it like a fun, like a different <laughs> game? Yeah, it's kaboom. Or originally avalanche. Oh, this is this is. But it's joystick kaboom, and he's kind of dropping them fairly plump together. Oh, you Not say that now. Oh, it's getting getting spread out a bit. Oh man, this this style oh, of game is a whole skill set. Like oh, people who are like who, oh my who are who are good at this, it's like it's insane. Oh my god, and I don't even understand how their brain functions. And the levels so of this quickly. game, like in terms of skill requirement. And I feel like this is one of those styles of games where you gotta have like your controller that you're. Yes. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if like you know, you're tuned into your controller. I can I can just imagine people raging, being like, I'm "Controller twitched!" Or like, "I'm on the uh, wrong controller!" Like, it's like it's a totally. This is all about like precision. I feel like the wheel would be sick for this. You know, oh, like that. 100%. Like, like it's that's it's a kind of a wheel game. It is like I mean he's made it so the joystick works for this. But yeah. Um, crazy. Oh, yeah. 
You're doing so much better than I do. I'm not, I am uh... terrible at this game. Oh, yeah, and also I'm, f I'm noticing it's kind of, like, clutchy, you know? Like, almost like you can, like, make it go quick, but it's Pretty not necessarily quick. smooth. It's sort of, like, almost... The bomb bombs blend too much into the background. They, they do... are hard, but you can see them up yeah, above. Can, yeah, so you can see not... them, but I do see, like, dark gray against black. It is <laughs> it's difficult. Even, like, a white outline would There's... help. But... Yes, there's blacks on the buildings. But it's too. still fine. Like it's not like it's oh, not God. like um uh God. you know like a oh, like God. a like a game changing criticism. No, know? no, no. It's you like, can still play it quite it's, it's still all good, but level ten. Oh my God. Also, what's I what's kind of like? Is there any factor to the people running across? Uh, or is that just sort of say is that more that style? They did anything. Is yeah. that just there's just people just sprinting just like <laughs> like ah! <laughs> just like through the thing, being like oh man. It just seems, I think it feels like it's more like kind of background in a way. I think it is. Uh, the collision de oh, detection is very lax, <laughs> very forgiving. Let's say. It's really nice. Oh, pretty cool. I like this bomb guy up top too. He's very fucking happy to be dropping bombs. He's a little mischievous, oh, little grim. Get back. No. Get back? Oh, oh no. You're stuck forever in oh, the loop. You have to press it while playing. Okay. Oh, I see. Now it's my turn. I'm gonna go up to. Uh, it's advanced. Should I do it? Yeah, let's do. Actually, let's do expert. Let's just see what the expert. And then is. I'll go back to advanced. Oh, you're. you're I'm gonna right. just be destroyed. <laughs> oh my god! What was? Oh. Yeah. He is... moves. Oh my god! The the lasers on the on the ground move now. Yeah, yeah. It's not hugging the left in the same way. Oh. And you ran out of your laser so like fast. Instantly. This is fairly. Cool. This is the you way. can avoid that laser by going right to the top. You see what I mean? Though, oh, there's like... something on the bottom now too. Oh, oh there's like double hits. Yeah. Oh, is... oh you run out so I'm quick. I'm in danger. Is what this <laughs> exactly. Game is. You can't shoot him, even though you can shoot him. Oh, you run out so quick. Yeah, see. yeah. It's... I don't think I'm gonna make it to a boss. Yeah, like with this one, just making to a boss is a feat. Um, also, I find with games like this too, like so stressful. It's like full immersion, but also like there's only so many rounds you can do of a game like this because you're just like you're in such a like high state of just, oh like, yeah, of, like, like your brain melts <laughs> that you just you 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 just have to like you know. Uh, yeah, you should hit standard, standard. See how far you can get. Yeah, because that's because that's that's a bit more. Risky. Sand there. Oh yeah, so we have like we have a little combo, which is that um, uh, the bomb patterns start over when you lose a bucket. Saying that they, kind oh. of, they kind of do, and he said it's gonna stay as a separate option, but because it might be cool to have it. He says yeah, he'll, let, he'll leave it in. Um, uh, and then you reuse the the. I reused code um, from a game demo I wrote almost 10 years ago. Oh. Uh, game yet. So it seems like it's still in development. Right? Okay. It's it's in a pretty good state right now. Um, oh, dude, it's really nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it definitely is a style of game where, like, you know, you, you got about a half hour unless you're, like, unless you're really hyped on games like this. This is not a chill uh, game. It's a very, like, whoa. Oh, my God. That was a terrible uh, go at it. Oh, dude, that's okay. It took me... I had to die, like, that's... four times before I sort of got the hang of it. True. Um, cause... I think I'm doing too much offensive and not enough defensive. Yeah, because if you... it's, I feel like the principle of this game is, like, the laser's always going to be on the right, and, yes. and you're never going to die unless you basically get hit by a laser or a bomb. So, like, making sure you dodge those missiles is really, like, almost the whole thing for yeah. this stage. And then you kind of, like, like, you know, it, it is like, you know, there's a fable of the tortoise and the hare, you know? <laughs> yes. Is, slow is, and steady. I can do it. But too slow is bad because it's like, then you're just in risk, right? But that S pattern is like, I find that's been the way, you know, up weaving through those, those bombs. I think you're right. Um, but but it all, it's all about placement. Like here, they're all clumped. So this is worst great. case scenario. Yeah. Um, as long as you can, yeah, you can just fly by and dodge it. And what I can get yeah, easy would be just like very easy. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Didn't it, didn't it, it's okay. 
Let's make some digs. Dig for away. Thank you. <laughs> Atari has asthma. Oh no! Unfortunately, so we've haven't been having to give him. Oh my god! Um, is there an inhaler, a cat inhaler? Yeah, there is a cat inhaler. <laughs> and you're like, how do you get him to inhale? Well, there's this thing that goes over his mouth and nose, and you just kind of put it over his mouth and nose. Freak him out though, man. He's probably. At first he was like, ah. Now he's like, okay, this again. He'll take it. He's such a chill cat though, which is like. He is. Makes a big difference. It does help quite a bit. Some cats, it's like you you're gonna get maimed. <laughs> you are. Oh. oh, these I found like you don't want to fuck around. You just like if you can just get in there and just like out DPS him. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. I find that like as, and then he has his windows. With him, I found like like not going in the in the middle of the laser. Die! No. It's okay. It's okay. Oh my god, that was terrible! That's okay, this is a fu <laughs> this is a rough game, man. It's toughy. It is. Wow. Lots of code is um, repeated in the bank. With optimization. Mm. That's above my pay grade, but I hear, <laughs> I've heard that a lot from people um, in the Z CPA for many years. Yeah. Of, of, yeah optimizing and, things. Optimizing yeah. code. I've, I, I, but he's given himself a lot of room uh, with the size of the cartridge. I've also heard a lot of like fables of like cons cons consultations where like people will go to other like uh, developers and be like, hey, how can how can I trim down this code, you know? And it's a challenge, right? So they're like, oh, let me let me give it a go, right? Yeah. So it's it's sometimes fun to to like, oh, how can I make this better? I know some tricks, right? Yeah. I've also noticed with this game too that like. If you can take down a bunch of like running people, it actually oh, yeah. accelerates you so much That's because there's so much more points. But at the same time, it's kind of like, yeah, it's 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 a, like an immersive game because you have to dodge and attack. Yes, it's we're like full full like you know. Full That's what you want in a game. You want um, more than one thing to do at a time. That's right. You want to have to attack and defend. I like the scalability of this game too. That's like it right. seems really nice to scale. Yeah, this one it's like once you get in the groove. Yeah, I'm starting to figure it out. Yeah. It's those missiles. I gotta watch them. I gotta go on defense mode when I. Yeah. When so I, I think them. you have your windows with him, right? Like. Yeah. He can never hurt you on the like far left or right. Yeah. Um. After he shoots a missile, and so like. Getting hit by them. Oh, I keep snagging myself on. Them. Yeah. Like I'm. I'm noticing with this game, it's all about like there's kind of a window that you have to to deal damage, and you kind of gotta go in, get it, get out. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Good. And then recovered. <sighs> It. I knew after I finished, after I finished, I was like, oh, yeah. like we're going to retire. <laughs> I was yeah. like, this is a, the PV is very been complete. Well. Yeah, sometimes with games too, when you do well, you're like, you're like, nah, you're like, don't wreck as, it. You're like, that's as good as it's going to get <laughs> today. You just know it. <laughs> But it also is with a game like this, it's about getting in this like flow state where you're just yes. kind of like paying attention, you know? I'm getting there. I'm slowly figuring it I out. Can, I can really see what he means about this parallaxing being a kind of component you know, of, of the work, you know? Yeah, it really helps the visuals and uh, the feel of the game. Rather than just a static, whatever, gray bottom part where they're just running across open field. Situation. Yeah. Oh, see now, now that guy moves. Really so. so one thing I also have noticed. Is he moving now? No. Um, he is. No, no, he's static. Yeah. One thing I noticed playing this game too is that, um, although there's a lot of stuff happening, there's only three levels that they'll be at. Yes. So once you get to a level where you can kill one, if you just move left and right, you can then like target everything in that area. Yeah, this one I felt like uh, you saw my tactic, same as yours. Just yeah, it's just stay in the middle and out DPS because I don't. I because do, if you try to be defensive, I don't know how you. You can't. You There's have to so just, much on the screen. You got to just stay in that pocket and just. I also, mean, you're being defensive at the same time as shooting at him. 
you just got to go. Go for it. I also it. noticed, too, that if you're too high, you're out of range. Yeah. So you got to stay, like, mid and low and just fucking... Yep. Oh, God. Totally forgot about the bomb. No, I, I oh forgot about God. them, too. Remember, you use those because I think they recharge, right? So in a way, like, you probably... Yeah, because they recharge every, round? every every time you beat a boss, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the case. You get like all of the updates. Oh god. Because I don't think it's three for like the entire. Oh, I should be using them more then. Atarius Maximus, is it three for the whole game or three per round? Because I should be using a lot more. Oh yeah, it's some, kind of a cool like production design though. Just so, like thinking that like after every boss, that was what I that was what I thought. Oh good. Oh okay. Yeah, so like you probably would have actually made it way longer if you'd utilized that tool. Yeah. Um, but I forgot about it too. I kept being like. What I'm gonna do is save it for when those missiles are cornering. Me. Yes. That's gonna help a lot because I've been in that situation a couple times oh, now. Oh dude, you're so right. There's many times I probably would have like I probably could have made it a lot farther. Um, oh yeah, so one of the production design notes, which was neat, is to make this town a bit more war-torn. Oh, uh, yes, Because uh, yes. the design of it appears like these are fully intact buildings. <laughs> and they would definitely when this, not be. When we're literally, uh, like, bombing our own buildings. <laughs> building, like, That's right. I feel like... Um, I do like the sort of foreground, mid-ground, background elements that have been layered into this. Like, it's that quite, is nice. It's quite nice. And the, nice. um, and the buildings are larger, too. It's not just the parallax. It's it's actual scaling happening. As well. Not real scaling, but they're uh, hard-coded buildings, I am assuming. Oh, God. Shoot your own players. Oh, it's tough. I, yeah, I, I fucked up some of those medics, too. It feels bad. It's like, <laughs> I'm ah, so sorry, okay. guys. I, I know you're just doing your job. Do you ever see that movie Hacksaw Ridge? <laughs> no. It's one of the craziest, baddest movies I've seen. <laughs> it's it was it's a Mel Gibson movie and it's like got Andrew no! Garfield. He's like a medic. <laughs> oh really? It's really bad. Oh wow. It's from a while back. I sometimes laugh laugh about it when I see it. Uh, uh, I would start with a new city each wave. Each missed laser slightly destroys the city. You get more bonus points for an intact city. Ooh, Ooh that's, that's a, like, a, a nice. Other, it's a whole other layer of wow. Because yeah, you are like the. <laughs> Steve, Steve Ramirez liked that. That was movie. a great movie. I'm sorry. To, <laughs> He's slagging on movies. Sorry to slag on your movie, man. Uh, ex excellent game. Um, hey, Carl. Gee, looking forward that? to revisiting it again and doing better. Erlen <laughs> uh, uh, kicked my ass. In this oh, I game. just got lucky yeah. on one round, man. I just got into like a zone. I knew that it was like that thing where you're, I was like, I'm never going really to play. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, you just did so well. You're like, yeah, oh my God. So when you have a good run, sometimes you're, you're like, out on top. You're like, that's the way to go. Uh, so we're going to move on to the next game. It's Rat Trap. And this actually uses a special new controller, SNES to Atari controller. Oh, shit. Uh, let me find it. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm back, Carl. <laughs> um, I think I'm back. It's I'm John back. Wick style, man. <laughs> there we go. So, this was made for Attack of the Petsky Robots, this mm. adapter, to add more buttons to the Atari 7800 and other systems that are compatible, um, pin compatible with this. Oh, this is SNES, man. This is like kind of in, overlapping with like stuff I used to play as a kid. Oh, perfect. You'll be uh, very comfortable with this controller then. Yeah, like um, uh, uh, NES and SNES were kind of like those. Those are the retroist things I played as a kid. Oh, perfect. Yeah, because because Atari was a little bit behind me. Yeah, yeah. That's very old school. <laughs> okay. So let's plug this adapter in. Yeah, and this you just think about like infinitely more buttons, right? Oh, so many more. There's shoulder buttons, there's four primary buttons. The options are high. I like this LED business you have going on. It's very cool with rotating like, like yeah, shelf like it. Vibe. it adds a little a uh, little bit more to uh, It also fits this sort of um, aesthetic of the show too. Like the, there is something kind of neon and like 80s about it. I don't know yeah, why. I'm trying to keep that aesthetic as much as possible. So, yeah, recognize the SNES um, controller, which is good. I'm going to let you know what the buttons do. Okay, sick. So there's red doors, yellow doors, and blue doors. Okay. And those are uh, Y, X, and A. 
So YXA, for, the, for the three different doors, you'll have to just memorize. Well, I gotta figure it out. I'll... And B is your power up, it okay. turns you into a dog. So you, I don't know if you've ever played this game or the oh, game like this. Know. It's it's a port of Mouse Trap. So you're a mouse eating all the little cheese bits. Um, it's, it's, it's a, a little it's Pac-Man. -y, a, very Pac-Man. It's along the lines of the maze type games. Oh, so the doors are like there's doors that flip, that flip. Yes. Okay, so which ones? Are, tell me those things again. Let me see if I can kind of remember. Y X and A. Y X A. Which you, colors are they though? We'll figure it out. Yeah, it's it's easier to kind of mind map them to the colors to the okay, buttons. Okay, that sounds good. Because you won't know what X. I mean, maybe you've memorized where X is on there, but you'll memorize. Oh, that button changes to that one. Okay, cool. And just like in Pac-Man, there's power ups but it doesn't take effect till you want it to so take I hit effect, it that's actually really nice which is a great thing. yeah because you'll see with like people just like kind of farming just hanging you'll out you'll camp for out the, there but the... you don't need to camp in this one you can store them up and i think it's maximum three uh tree time does still work so it would be an excellent time to uh give these cats a little treat if somebody wants to do treat time or i mean we didn't have we didn't have a show yesterday, it's which would have been good for yum, catnip. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, my God. 420 for cats, but it's 421 for cats. That's I love their it. day. Dude, they're, they're Pavlovianly uh, tuned. 100%. I just heard this, this just pause, just ripping through the stairs the second that sound <laughs> happened. It's like... <laughs> so Carl G is feeding the cats today. Now, we've done this something is... a little different. I don't know if you've been here for I haven't this. been here for any of this stuff. It's a game now. Oh, shit. And it's head to head. Oh, shit. It's first to ten. Oh, shit. So they got to ring the bells. Okay, cats, are you ready? Oh, let's switch the cams. Dude, let's get some cams going. Some What's this, max cams? five or six bones? That's, that's, that's I, I don't know if it's... Oh, five or six? I, th I thought it was three, but well, we'll find out. Okay, okay. You ready? There you go. And sprites ahead with one point. There you go. Come on, Atari. Hit it. No, no, hit the bell. Come on. Hit the bell. Hey, it's one, one, one all. Sprite is the master. He wins almost every time. Sprite snows. Two to one. Uh, Atari's only won twice. Get them when they're young. You know, hit it. Really like. Hit it. Harder. Oh, good, strong hit. Two, two. No. Oh, three, two. For Sprite. Sprite was just pawing it, not making a sound. They do have to make a sound. Four, two. Pulls ahead. Or, no. Three. Four, three. Four, four. No. Four, four, four all. Tari's a tiny bit behind. He is a slower eater. No, you gotta make a sound. There you go. You It'll be a soft sound. 5 4. Nope. Ring the bell. 6 4. Dude, the sprite is just nailing this. 6 5. You can ring others, the other's bell. It does you know, count. Well, you can go. Oh, that's a solid 7 bell, 5. Man. Yeah. Eight five. He inhales them. He doesn't chew them. The kitten always wins. <laughs> that, Eight that six. Is, that's a rule of life, Carl G. Yeah, kitten always wins. Nine six. It is the game young point. The old. Is game point. Nine seven. There's a possibility to catch up, but very slim. Nine seven. It's game point. Ten points. Sprite wins as per usual, and we give consolation prizes to the loser and the winner. Good job, 10-6, 10-7. And my hands are disgusting now. That's what you Smell mean. of cat. Cat treats. Okay. I'm going to switch it over and get you going on the game, and I'm going to go wash my hands. Okay. Okay. So um, move the controller, left, right, or press the button, one button. Let's go. Okay. Press it again. Oh, okay. We're starting. That's fine. Let's do this. So you're the mouse. Eat all the cheese. Okay, okay. Cheese it up. You can see one's red, one's blue, one's yellow. You do start off with one Oh, okay. I'm immediately going. Okay. <laughs> I'm, uh, hold on. Avoid the cats. Don't worry. Don't worry. And there are bonus items. There's a big cheese at the top. You can trap cats in areas. So that was a bone. Let you turn into a dog. Let's try it now. Turn into a dog. There you go. Now you can eat the cats. I can eat these guys. I Once you start, eat, I don't want to eat cats. <laughs> well, you're chasing the cats away. Oh, there's the bird as well. You have to completely avoid the bird. Uh oh. Oh, okay. I'm still learning the. If you go to the inn, the bird will go away. Okay. In the middle. Okay. 
And those are transporters. Those in the corner. Those will transport no, you no, back no, to no, the no, middle. No, no. Okay. So those, that's the basics. I'm gonna watch my hand. Okay, okay. Go back. Okay. Sounds good, sounds good. Oh, getting the big cheese, boys. Getting the big cheese. Okay. I ended up. Oh, good. Oh, just in time. Yeah, you're learning. No. You trapped yourself. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, I think we only have a little. Whoa! Time. Good job. Clean those cats up. Get those last pieces of cheese. No! Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Nice. Okay, level one. So kind of an is... expert at this game. <laughs> it's made by Daryl Genther, who's in the chat. Daryl1970. Oh, awesome. what up? Okay, okay. What's this? Uh, just extra points. I'll take it. I'll take some points. Yeah. Get you extra lives. Oh. Like I have the powers of a dog. Ruff, ruff. I don't know though, dude. Cats would <laughs> fuck. Some cats would fuck dogs. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, uh, bird. That bird is. I was gonna. Tough. I was going for the end, but uh, game over. Yeah, that makes sense. So we are playing the full version. Uh, there is a demo version available for download. Um, this one's from March 1st. It corresponds to the demo version, I think, is March 4th. Um, so, uh, since we played it, February 15th update in single uh, joystick mode, uh, holding the right button always allows multiple door changes. Oh. The mouse or rat can uh, will still be will be still under the button is released. That's for single button. I don't know if you saw that. I was ready to clean up. I just didn't. Oh. I had, there's a whole line of them, but then I hit like. Oh no. Hit the wrong button. Hit a door change instead no, of No, I just didn't dog. hit, I just didn't hit the dog fast enough. Oh. But it was, it was going to be like a massacre. <laughs> these, these cats. No! Oh, you can't go in it when you're a dog? Or does the inn take you to... The inn is what sends oh, you to that I see. point, right? I, was, I had it backwards. Those are the uh, places where you teleport um, to. Dog! Oh! Small uh, added corridor forgiveness. This makes the control a little easier. Retains the wall glide while compensating for a slight overshoot of a corridor. Uh, and then small sound effects updates. Any SNES reset. Select still pauses the game while the game is paused, pressing both shoulder buttons will reset the game to the title screen. Trying for the zero page homebrew couch compliance award. Thanks. Uh, yes, always nice to be able to do absolutely everything right from the controller. Oh, this that bird just bird. me out, man. Yep. <laughs> Wasn't there a game on iCarly called Rat Trap that Spencer got hooked on? Maybe it was this game. Maybe it was in the future. It's very possible. Uh, March 4th, and that's the one we're playing. High score saves. No longer conflict with the SNES Atari uh, polling. Thank you, Revenge. This is now enabled on the demo version. Extra no. lives are no longer limited to 30k and 60k, so you can keep getting extra lives. Uh, novice. Every this. 50k, player starts out with five lives, no hawk, less cats at the beginning, cats are slower. Uh, this is well balanced for this difficulty, even though it seems counterintuitive. Arcade and Expert, every 30,000, player starts with 33 lives. The arcade instructions state that the player can earn many extra lives, but only a maximum of five will display on screen during the intro. I've tweaked this version to display up to nine lives. Uh, for cats. Uh, four lives will wrap below the top five. The rat mouse still comes from the top row, so I leave the path on the bottom. The arcade in flashes an inverted image when the, when the hawk is out. Now I flash the color in. Oh no, you had so many bones. Yeah, I just didn't hit it. I just hit it, but it was like... There was a safe space in the inbox. The arcade version pulls the player in as soon as they enter by one pixel. I've updated the code accordingly. Tweak sound effects and music envelopes. Cheesy Atari box voice on the settings credit menu. I was testing conflicts with the high score devices. Might leave it since it's hidden. However, it is a copyrighted song and it connects with my title mix to the original. Might get rid of this feature in future updates name can still be changed to mouse uh, but the ability has to be unlocked by a code I do not want that liability to be out there since it's in cartridge format once it's in cartridge format once the code is entered in the title screen the option to change the name and enable cheat mode is saved on any high score save device I don't think I have this plugged into the high score so I should do that 
this game's a whole skill set. You know what I mean? Like, it's like there's a whole skill set to this game that, like... Oh, yes. Like, it's, it's very, very different. Like, if you know it... <laughs> Are gonna turn back? Uh, yeah, see, like, it's, uh... Once it starts flashing, get prepared. Also, I can play Pac-Man. I'm sure, like, I could definitely play it, but it's never... This is quite different. It's, it's never it's... been, like... I mean, this, like, sort of genre of game has never been, like, oh, yeah, like, I'm demolish it. Right. It does take, like, a certain skill set. Maze games. Oh, yeah. Because and also this bird is this whole other <laughs> layer of, like... Because the bird can fly I think it's anywhere. Time to... so it's okay. Let me uh, plug in the Atari box, because since there are Atari Vox things associated with this game and we are missing them also just internalizing um like the triggers um it's a good game though there's a multiple threats and the doors adds this whole other layer of like gameplay oh, um yeah. And then the bird kind of, like, uh, defeats the cheesing. Because without yes. the bird, it would be, like, a totally, like... You could kind of, like, you know, you could tortoise this game. Oh, yeah, because you can trap. You just slowly, and... slowly take your time. But that bird is just going to... He'll, he'll, he'll ferret you out. Yeah, it encourages you to sort of just, like, keep the ball rolling. But, like, yeah, there's a whole skill set to this style of game. And as I said, I can definitely play this game, but it's not... Never Ooh, been looks like I already changed the name. <laughs> it's all good. To Mouse Uh So, there are two options for SNES. So, you can, if you have a color button one um, from uh, Europe, they, the colors can correspond oh, to the colors so of the easier. door. Yeah. But I have a North American born one. Yeah, um, so, you were playing on arcade? I think. I must have been. Yeah. I'm going to play a novice first. Okay, cool. I am not. And if you go into settings... Um, oh, you turn off that bird, you probably... Uh, I think in the novice there's no bird? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So there's a um, door pause. Oh, I can't change. Oh, my God. There we go. Can't change any of this. Oh, well. Turn to time. So one player, novice. Let's see. Cool that the cre credits, title screen credits 7800 basic. Well, that is very nice because it is a tool made by the community. This is not as well. Thank you for subscribing. Teleprompter 312. Let's go to settings slash credits. I don't know what that was in reference to, but it's. Oh, I will go there after. I didn't go to the credits. I'm not seeing a bird. So, yellow. So, Blue? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Wrong. Oh, oh. Let's get some cats here. It's hard to say, man. Like, some dogs could mess up cats, but some cats would definitely be dogs. Oh, 100%. It really depends on the on the size and breed of the cat. <laughs> and, and which dog it is. So I guess there's small dogs, and there's big dogs, and there's... Big dogs who are not fighters, and there's little dogs who are fighters. And we're both team cat. It's just, uh, uh, yeah. It's just the, it's, it's. are team cat. Oh, he's trapped in there with the stuff I, think I it's want. Dog mode. It is dog mode. Might as well get some bonus. Oh. Okay, no bird is like a whole other. No hawk on no novice. Yeah, this will a whole get... other game. Oh, keep the dog. I'd, I would say, levels. I'd say most of the time that I died was to that bird. Yeah, that's the one that gets me too. Um, which is cool. It's it's definitely like a like a like a step up. In general. Oh, it is. But that's that's what goes on the arcade. So it's good that it's there. Yeah, I've been I've been thinking so much about getting a cat. Actually. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, I'm. It's hard to pull the trigger on it though because I like live on my own. It's like with cats it's having hard. like having like like you and Tanya having like two people. That helps a lot. Huge, huge difference. Because I work from home. Um, I can look after the cat, but the cats. Um, but when you're on your own, you have to kind of plan around what you're yeah. doing. And I don't know if I'm quite ready for that yet. Just to have to kind of like kind of cater my life a little bit around like, the cat. Yeah. But at the same time, it would be so nice to have a cat. It's great companions. Um, they're not like dogs where they're always on you, yes. you know. And some people like I just can't handle that, and I especially can't handle the. The walking. The walking. Okay. 
<laughs> the, yeah, the, the, the neediness of dogs is too much. Cats can be very needy, but yeah. they're also their own people. And I and I and I mean this with all the love in the world, but I've also noticed there's like the there's sort of like a, a middle-aged lady uh, and dog mode. <laughs> it's like that's an archetype. Cause it's, yeah. Because a dog, like certain dogs, are almost like infants. And you can see some ladies who just oh, like yeah. they have yeah, that empty nest syndrome, and they just re replace it with this dog. And like I don't want a baby in my <laughs> life, you know? Like I'm no. good. And some dogs are not that way, but there's definitely breeds of dogs that are just babies. And yeah. just like, they absolutely need you. They whine. They, they want they to be attached to you. They cannot be apart from you. Um, and cats are all over the place. Like, it really depends on the cat. <laughs> Carl G's going to the cat cafe tonight, dude. <gasps> nice! Get some cats for us. It's going to call to you. That's that, And that's actually a really... I think what's nice about a cat cafe is yes. that, like... They're, they're like a cat's not just like trapped in this like cage, you know. It's yep. like, they're they're much more socialized and like you get to know the cats before you adopt them. I can go back multiple times, get and to... I mean it's not a natural environment. They are spoiled rotten there, and there's so many of them too, and oh, like it's gotcha. a totally different vibe. But and... you get to know them a little bit at least. When the cats are really nice. Um and uh. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. Clean oh. enough. I think I want to get the center. I think you're popping off. Uh, well, this is uneasy. <laughs> so, just devouring. I don't want to get too some, cocky getting here. Getting some scissors. Getting some yep. scissors going. Oh, yeah. This, but this dog ain't no infant. It's a, a cat eater right there. <laughs> just ripping apart cat carcasses. <laughs> Rawr. <laughs> Vicious, vicious. Mm, so many cats now. So many. Oh, it's too it, I, late. I, I found that like um, with this one, like my my biggest regrets are not using the bones because look how many of them. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. like there's many deaths. I was like, but I found that I noticed that like I was playing like a little bit, you know, riding the riding it a little too close like mm. I would hit the thing but then it would takes a minute to turn into the dog so there'd be times oh. where like I would actually I would hit it but it wouldn't be quite there yet yep um and then and that was a lot of deaths for me as well and it yes. was just like because I noticed what you got to do is you got to hit it transform into the dog and then you can like then you can go yeah, you have to plan a little bit ahead for the dog. You can't be last minute button pressing. Yeah, because I, I thought it would be a bit more instant, but it's not. Like, there's, a, there's quite a few deaths I had where I was like... Don't be afraid to dog it if you need to. You've got so many bones as well. Yeah, yeah. No, but those are not play toys. This is a place here in town called Street Cats, and they specialize in getting strays and cats. Oh. People decided they can't be to find um, hopefully new forever homes. So, so sick. That's nice. It's so nice to have, like, uh, like, like, like services like, like that. that. Yeah. And, like, and there's just some sweetheart cats out there, too, you know? And also when you get to, when stray cats have like experienced the like the streets and they've oh, been like there's yeah. is a transitionary period where it's, they need to just like learn that it's okay you like, can be safe. I had this like, we had a stray cat like growing up that would just like you give him food and we actually had to proportion control him because he'd been on the street oh, so much that like yeah. he would like uh, this might be TMI but he would like eat so much that he would throw up and then he'd eat his vomit because he was just so like like food he was clearly had starved so much yeah. and for years we'd have to basically like restrict his eating but you'll see cats that are like so used to getting food all the time it's like you can even like fill up their bowl and they won't finish it but this guy it's like the second it would be about there'd be about three minutes that the that the food would be there and just, like, just oh. gone because he just he was dogs are like that too they're like oh my god especially if they live with a lot of other dogs yeah they're like i have i have to eat this all and he's just conditioned from like being on the streets right like it was just like had to, had to fight for it yeah, this is an incredibly well done game. This is it's really, really so good. So slick. Um, so I'm gonna remove the uh, AA battery. <laughs> I just feel like if you pierce the shell of this, I don't want some battery acid in no, your stomach. No, that's mm -hmm. a bad idea. Oh, what? I thought I pressed the button. Because there are cat toys, and I can tell you acidic batteries are not on the list, Sprite. Now, since there is a high score thing plugged in, I'm going to put in a high score. 
fuck it is. Do you shoot another round? Uh, yes, and I'm gonna play arcade. Yeah. Even though I'm gonna just die. What am I doing? I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, but I've been I've been I've been flirting with some cats at the cat oh, cafe. For nice. Sure. Which cat cafe? I did went to the one in International Village. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's hard though with cats too because like sometimes you'll look at them and you'll just see like cold indifference. <laughs> you know. You'll oh just, yeah. Especially those cats. It's and it's some sometimes you know it's they just they're spoiled for people. Like, yeah. They get. And a lot of those cats Street. in cat cafes too, they'll just hide because they're like, yeah. oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> Everybody wanting me, right? Yeah. So, but it's fun. And some of the cats are really nice. But every every time I go there, you only get to pet a couple cats because they're so sick of people. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. See, this bird is a whole other level, right? It is. And changing to a dog, I don't think doesn't, it doesn't help. doesn't help at all. Only the inn gets rid of the hawk. And the thing about the hawk is that your ability, you, you have to add this whole other skill set of understanding these yeah. doors. Because yeah. if you get trapped with a hawk, you're it's, done. It's done, yeah. You And you have to keep moving and keep your eye on the hawk. Um, oh, God. Here it comes. Yeah, okay, like... Gotta go to the end. There. Gone. Yeah, but it's a whole other skill set now. It's like this kind of like the next layer of... Oh, yeah. Before you know it, that hawk's back. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, again. But he, he went away right away when the inns. When yeah, the that's the thing, in. is that, like, oh, the, God. the tactics of these inns. Yeah. Oh, that was the perfect place to send you, too. That's where you needed to be. Yep. Clean up. Some clean up here. Ooh. Should go around and become a dog. And then finish Nina. this. Take this home. Yep. Boom. Good stuff. Looking forward to my, when I get S and S in the adapter with my Petsky Robots. What's, yes. What's that Petsky Robots? It's a very cool game. Um, I need to play it now on the show. Um, I pressed it, but. Do you see what I mean? Yep. It was too late. You, you, there is a, and it's kind of like, um, yeah, if it, it, you think it's instant, but it's not. Uh, Petsky Robots is like, um, multi-level, um, puzzle action game where it's a big overview of what? no of a land and there's bird? robots and you shoot bird. them and you plant bombs and you strategize about how to kill all the robots on a level that's your main goal to get power-ups and different um uh different weapons it's it's really really cool i unfortunately have a early version of it so the controls are a bit wonky yeah and there's a later version where they're where they're fixed but I need to get the later version. That's probably why I haven't played it, because my version's a little weird. Because I bought it when it first came out at, um, I got it when it first came out. Um, let's do one more on Arcade. Yeah, do it, do one more, and then we can move on. Yeah. Such a good game, though. But it, but a whole skill set to play this. You know what I mean? Like this is oh, one yeah. of those games where you really need to like cultivate this skill. And if you're doing the door no skill is what I'm lacking right now. And if you're doing novice versus arcade, right? Like it's a totally it's a, on fundamentally two different games. Because yeah. managing and learning to deal with this bird fundamentally changes the way you yeah. like interact with this. I think what you need to do is kind of get the edges uh, after you get the bird. And then when the bird comes, you, or when the bird is near, you gotta hang around the inn for a bit and kind of clear the center. Like now, I gotta, oh God. Yeah. I gotta go to the inn now. Now the bird goes away. Now I go get some edges. And there seems to be a randomness, right, to which corner you get popped into, hey? Thrust it! That's, Too what, late. that's the thing, it's weird. I, ah. I had most, so many deaths like that as yep. well, where you just. Oh, maybe I didn't have any bones. I didn't have any bones. That helped. That's a problem too. But I also pressed it too late at the same time, I think. But it's kind of an RNG, it seems like, of which corner you get popped into as well. It which is, could yeah. be also the difference of your death, too. Because if you get popped into a corner where there's no way out, it's like, yeah, yes, you escape the bird, but... Um, yeah, unless there is a pattern, into... like, it might do, like, left... There might be a pattern to, like, where oh, the order that it goes be. in. I don't know. Um, which, again, would add another layer of, like, like no bones knowledge. Again. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. Is lock yourself in the air away from the cats, lock them out. Yeah, but then the bird comes. That's the problem, dude. <laughs> oh, I have no bones. Oh my god, I've been using my bones up. Ooh, I'm I'm in trouble now. I need to get to those 
You only you only got two though, so you uh, can get uh, there. I need to just get go there. Forward. Just, uh, I couldn't make it. Uh, oh no, I finished the level. Yeah, you oh did. my god. Nick I accidentally time. finished the you level. Gotta, you gotta get a bone immediately. Oh yeah. Just Even two bones safety. honestly would be nice. Like you almost wanna just like blast for two and yeah. like and see if you if you can get away. Which way does that go? I think it goes to the Go eat. Just eat them and get them. Uh, I'm gonna get to that in. Ah! 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 No! Oh my god. How am I evading this bird? Now you're now you're trapped, but not not forever. Now I'm gonna get to that in. Oh. oh, bird's gone. Anyway, it's gonna be in anyway. And that's the thing is it popped you in that corner. It would have been so nice to be in any of the left or yes. right, because you would have gotten a bone and a thing. The controls in this have improved dramatically from the early versions. So anybody who was playing the early versions, it was a bit weird on the controls. Yeah. You weren't able to do the turns as easily. Now it's that's completely solved. I had no idea that you could take kind of Pac-Man and totally turn it on his head and yep. make a completely kind of unique original game yep. with with a whole kind of like layer of skills. Because like I, you take a Pac-Man expert and have him play this game, I don't know how much crossover no. there is. It's like not much. I don't think it's like fundamentally it is the same concept, but like the the game mechanics make it just like a totally different world. Memory. Oh, oh, Paul. Oh, yeah. Oh, get Daryl. Yeah. Very nice. Now, how do you get the? I said, um, Carl G said it's as different as Ladybug, but in different ways. You'll know that reference. I'm yeah, Ladybug is very, very similar. Mm -hmm. Except in Ladybug, you don't get to store your power-ups, which is a very cool um, feature of this. Yeah, it makes it so much more of a skill-based game than, um, than change it. I mean, it's just different skills, right, I guess. But, I mean, I think it gives you more power. Um, yeah, and then you get cocky, right, because you feel like the, the instant dog is actually not as instant as you <laughs> Not as instant. You have to give it a little bit of time. <laughs> Excellent, excellent game. If you haven't uh, played it, uh, definitely get it, uh, especially if you have the SNES to this Atari uh, adapter, because then it's so much easier. So James, this might be a bit of a like sidetrack, but I'm yep. just really fascinated with this chip. Like, what's the story with with this business here? I'm sure everyone already knows I'm out of the loop, but so it uh, and it's adapter, so you can um, plug a, a SNES controller through this adapter into the oh, nine cool. pin original 7800 and i believe the way it works is sent it's a serial device almost so because there's only so many inputs that this has so when you press you know say the top left button it sends not one signal not a left not a right but multiple things down the wire going it's like one zero one zero and that means top left button and it would interpret it as you know say left right left right um, wow. So you can add all these buttons. Like this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve individual totally buttons. Totally different world. Yeah. Um, so it opens up the possibility for many games that weren't possible, or it's that a classic were, controller too, man. Like it such is. a such a classic controller. And people are very familiar with this controller yeah. and it's a very good controller the fact that i very, know this controller yeah. is like is <laughs> it speaks volumes and it's very available controller there's yeah. just billions of them so you can get this for dirt cheap so it's not a a barrier yeah. to, to get it and um you're able to purchase this i don't know yet if you're able to purchase it on its own um snes to atari but you can get it with attack of the pet ski robots which has it included yeah yeah uh, 7800 GD has Genesis controller support, but it'll require a different API. Ah. So that, I'm still hoping someone will make a PS2 uh, keyboard adapter for the... There's absolutely no reason why you couldn't with using the same technology. Now, I talked about that like a year ago. It's before this was even out, and it uses that technology of uh, a serial um, string of movements, let's say, or signals. And you can do the same with a keyboard. Like A equals left, left, right, right, up, down, up, down, or whatever. 
and then you can map out the whole keyboard that and then way. you can like wow because I, I it was it's seamless like like yeah. playing it like you're like there's no and you can I, even include a buffer i don't know how much of a buffer that is so that you could have multiple keystrokes at the same time if it's fast enough it would be like he's pressing a and up constantly holding a and up right more deep yeah. <laughs> more defense. That would happen to like my games only had one button. You know? That's right. Back in my day. Okay. So let's move on to the third game of the day, which oh, is sick. ICBM. We'll switch, switch back to Continental Ballistic Missile. That is correct. I know what these ICBMs <laughs> are. Uh, let's change the cartridge. Oh, I think it was Command and Conquer that that I remember was the first IC. Ah. old like one of those old old kind of like um uh rts's where yep. and, and like that would be like a big deal man and conquer classic yeah. i think i played that at once or twice <laughs> not very many yeah i used to do a, a decent amount of um rts's um yeah uh, like uh age of empires 2 age of mythology those are some really really mm. good games what were we saving? Um, and then obviously StarCraft for? and Warcraft are like the big ones. We're, we're like, oh, let's save that for the Oh, game. some Safties, dude. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we'll get into this, then we'll get into the... Um, get a good ICBM. This is by Anthony Quinlan, 2600. This uh, <laughs> build is on April 9th, uh, 2023. Fairly recent. First post of January 2nd. Um, it's fairly straightforward game. It's Missile Command... Uh, with a couple differences. So you control a reticle um, and you shoot a missile at them or you shoot something at them. And there's missiles that come down. So there's a time delay between when you shoot and when it lands. So you got to account for time delay. So let's see. go for it. Let's go for it. Oh, fire. Sick. Okay, so I do I kill them? Yes, but oh. you have to shoot ahead of them. It's oh, the other fuck. Button. Okay. It's okay. the other button. Other button? Okay, okay. There you go. You got it. Just wrench and repeat. Nice. Okay, okay. I think I'm actually going to like this game. So, January 2nd. Hi, everyone. I wanted to post this a little earlier, but I was waiting until I had more of an engine started basically my version of Missile Command for the 7800, like I did with City Defense for the 2600. So, we made a game that was very similar to this in the 2600. I haven't focused so much on graphics or sound, but uh, more the gameplay and logic. The engine with splash screens, etc., are in place to later be approved upon. Still need to work out a smooth chase algorithm, which you must know, um, for the player missile to target. Anyway, posting it here will give me a place to watch its progress. Cheers. April 8th, uh, 2023, uh, this version. Got around to working on this one, and a thanks to Carl for the help. Really gave me an understanding to implement the line algorithm. Dude, First Carl's posted, a updated. Oh, he's everywhere. He's everywhere, Carl. Carl is like, Carl's the guy. <laughs> uh, first posted, updated, and can be downloaded here. No, so my on his, city. <laughs> so his first version had... Um, so you, you can see how your defense system is going straight to the missile. Um, in his first version, it had it going at a... 45 degree angle and then going up or yeah up or down to where you shot and now it, uh with the help of carl g it has a perfect um trajectory ah two and one nice oh a little early oh your city nice explosions my city. great graphics oh my god okay i literally didn't know how to play this game until <laughs> most of my city was destroyed oh uh, now you got it eh but uh Excuses are. DVG Double world. Down says add three firing bases. Oh, how would you control it? I mean, you have two buttons on the. Come on, come on. Bam. You could have one to switch which one you're firing from, I guess. You could go t t t one, two, three, but that would delay quite a bit. Yeah. I think you probably have to slow down the game. Might be to too complicated. That. Yeah. So, like, I have a question. Like, yeah. do, can I just, like, not worry about something that's basically 100%. not my city? So. Defend the left-hand side. And defend your your um, your base as well. Like, that guy doesn't matter He's at all. He's fine. Yeah, and that's, that's the way it was in Missile Command as well. Oh, I see. I see. So you don't have to worry about it. And in Missile Command, after a while, you got... Oh, you're dead. You're like dead, dead. No, that's it. <laughs> oh, 
I guess you just watch it till the end. Can you shoot? No. Game over? Oh. Oh. Okay, let me do one more go. Okay. Just to, just because I feel like I actually understand this game now. What? How come I can't shoot? Oh, other button? It wasn't, it didn't go. Oh, is this? That's okay, that's okay. Try now. No, my, 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 my guy didn't die. Oh, so. okay. Okay, okay. Let me try one more. Oh, one no more. reset. No reset. This you is have to this watch is your like, city get this destroyed. This is like in Monopoly when you know you've lost. You just and you're sit just there and go, there. okay, and here's like, more money. Here you go. <laughs> this is really what it's all about. You're like, oh, it would be nice to be able to just quit, you know. Yeah, you can't quit at all. So that's something to add in. Because truly is, truly is just like. It'd be nice to get a bonus multiplier if you get multiple ICPMs in a single shot. That would be a good incentive. This is just like morale destroying. Looks right like a here. bug where it carries over the status from the last game. Maybe. But I know my system, sometimes the fire button stops, but no, it's working. I don't think they. See, oh, like, if... do you see what I mean? Like. Oh, it does carry the status over. So neither neither works. Oh, no. Oh, that's okay. That's very cool. That's a wrap. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, there you go. We found a bug. But I you think that, that bug would have been found from quite a while. Like, you lose your... See, that should get the bonus points. It only counts for one. So it's not taking into account both missiles that got destroyed. I think the points are very random. Like, 60, 40... Is there a 20? Ooh, just got it. I think it's just 60 or 40, and it's just totally random. Shit. Ooh, just in time. Yeah. Oh, 20. Yeah. Oh, no! maybe right at the bottom, maybe no! you get 20. But it seems very random. <sighs> oh, this is stressful. But it's you good. get some cities back? No. Uh, they, or you when, just stay destroyed? Once your city's done, it's done. Mm. It's, 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 a, it's a harsh system. Oh. oh, maybe it is based on missile speed. Let's see. So that's a fast one. Oh, it is missile speed. Okay. It seemed random, but that's that's the ticket. That's the key. And that makes sense, because the fast ones are harder to hit. And more they're more dangerous too. Yeah, so I'm, all, I'm really noticing you pick your battles in this game. You yeah, you do. You get first you protect the cities that are left. Oh no, dude, you protect yourself at all you're, costs. Yeah, hundred percent. Otherwise you're playing Monopoly. <laughs> you're like you mm -hmm. just like you play, sit back and wait to die. Jeff Bezos and Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> you're done. Yeah. Ooh, just in time. Oh, I gotta get that one. And another factor of people watching, you can only have one bullet at a time. Oh, just missed. You can only fire one thing at a time. Yeah, and once it goes, and the, if you do like a big, sh like far away shot, <laughs> you're like, oh, and, you, and if something's coming fast at you, you're fucked. Yep. There's no two ways about it. Okay, come on. Yes, you see, like that, like. Yep. Just the tail end of that. Yeah, very nice explosions. Really great graphics in this. And. Nice. Does it? I'm gonna watch next time you hit two. Oh and shit! See, so, yeah, I missed. I, I fucked oh, up. Oh yeah. Because it may count both. But not, <sighs> oh, that was. You see that? That was. Some people like, looking out oh, their windows could touch the missile. Oh, the shrapnel! <laughs> like it, it, you know. So the facade got damaged of that building. <laughs> it did. You know. The roof got a little singed. Oh my god! Oh my god! Come on! Come on! Ooh. The good thing is that when they're closer to the ground, it doesn't take as long for you to shoot. Yeah, and like in these cases, it's like you can chase points, but it's also like... Nope! Okay. Protect the city. At all costs. Do -do -do. Literally. <laughs> At all costs. Nice. Yeah, I'm happy I'm actually getting a proper go with this. Yeah. Because yeah. I kind of screwed up for like the first bit. I'm <laughs> kind of under understanding it a bit more. It's just morale is so bad when your <laughs> missile dies. It has no. to have a direct hit. Wow. So it's right The other thing is, is that you don't actually move as fast as I'd love. Well, that's 
Does that accelerate it? No, it's constant oh, movement. There are two of them. Oh, I got both. Oh, I was oh, oh, I thought I hit it, but I didn't. Defend your two cities left. Uh, VVG Double Down says the 1982 Bally Astrocade had missile command clone called ICBM Attack that had a special analog joystick controller and a keypad for the three base controls. Oh, I'm okay. ready. So tell me to get ready. I'm all ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I was born ready. <laughs> it's too bad that one is so far away. It's not just cities on your left and right. Yeah, it's kind of split. In some ways, it almost would be a tactic to this game to sort of like just Defend. protect. Yeah, see, like here. Oh, because oh. literally, you don't lose anything by your cities getting destroyed. It's just closer to death. Yeah. So you could take that tactic as protect the middle, just yeah. keep the middle. There's like there'd be ways to like, I'd be curious what like the like are there difficulties Max to, minute, to this game. Right? Uh, no, not Is yet. It... Whoa. Oh. That one was coming down Well, fast. like, the, because your cursor doesn't move that fast, that's actually a factor. It is. Yeah, because you don't want to go too far away from yourself to protect yourself. Because, like, if I have to go from left to right, like, look at how long it takes. Like, a one, fast two, missile three. could get you, right? It's almost at the bottom by the time you get over, plus the time you have to t time it to shoot it too yeah you kind of have it's, it's you have to neat. stay in the middle it's an interesting timing though because you kind of like have to anticipate like what's happening like you have to be a step ahead which is yeah. the whole point of this game where it's like as soon as you shoot one it's like you gotta then prepare yourself for the next yeah. like it's and then you gotta have a confidence to be like it did count both of those missiles um oh that one it displayed both of them but, I, yeah, like but the one it didn't display both of them, it did actually give you the points for both missiles. It just doesn't put the 20 and 60 on the screen. Oh. It might be more of a graphics thing than a points thing. Level 10. Okay, I'm, I'm like... I chronicled the points. controller build that I did for the Bally Forms on Atari Age as the original controllers are near impossible to find. No! Oh, no, no! no. It's over. It, it, it's over. I was doing so well. It now happens, it's only points. It happened so fast. I did. It was boom, boom. But I mean, level 10, that does make sense that the difficulty would get pretty crazy yeah. at level 10. 5,000 on the maps. Oh, what? Do you get an extra city back? No. Oh, you only die when that... Oh, well, then you've just... Okay, this... We, we just... Just stay right there, like right around the middle. This turned into a different thing. Kind of That's thing. interesting. Missile Command doesn't do that. When your cities are all destroyed, it's like, yeah, you're fired. You, you did a bad job. <laughs> this one is like... I guess it depends if you care about points or levels. Oh! Ugh. Last human alive. Now you just watch. So demoralizing at this so point. So I guess you're controlling from a distance because you yeah. get to see the last of it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see if I get... I made it to, what, 5,000 level no. 10? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's done. That's it's fine. Done. Level, no, you made it to level 11. Level 11, 5K. Good. 5K. That's a good go. That's a decent benchmark to hit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, how was the, how was the movie marathon? Uh, Really interesting. Um, oh, that bomb that I missed that. That sucks. So um, we watched the first part, which was like the first half of their career. A um, bunch of short films that they did in uh, Boston film something. Oh, um, and they're crazy. Like their films are crazy. Yeah. Um, they're always like super tense. Um, the the protagonist is a complete <laughs> mess up. Like they they make the worst decisions they can possibly make almost in their yeah. life. I always, always making the wrong I always decisions. say, like, at least the Safety Brothers movies I've seen, yeah. I always have this feeling about them where it's like, where you as James <laughs> would, like, walk away <laughs> yes, they is never the beginning of the movie. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Like, the moment where, like, a rational person would be like, <laughs> boys, it's done. <laughs> Let's go yeah. home. Like, that's the beginning, and they're, like, doubling down. Oh, you know? they double down. They, they um, wreck their lives yeah. throughout the the film they um ostracize everyone they know they lose every friend they've ever had i always call uh, them i always feel like they do like icarus stories like these guys who are just flying into the sun and just like trying to like reach it and yes like, and they burn apart by the end of the oh, film you yeah. know that's kind of like the, the only... they're trying to do too much 
in their in their lives. Oh God. Oh, I've, so I've only I've only seen Good Time, um, uh, uh, Uncut, Uncut Gems. Gems, and then All That Heaven Allows or Heaven something yes. Heaven. And their films have like three different titles for each film because they release them in different. Um, regions and each region apparently likes different names makes sense um, and what's funny is one of them still rolls sound on everything i know it's i was like sound what operator. the hell and one's a really really good actor yeah um, he's it. in a bunch of his short films and um, um and minor roles in in other films um in good time he, he is one of my favorite openings of a film good time i'm really, really? excited to see yeah so the three that you named are the three features of the second half oh really okay yeah, yeah they, i think they're the three most like kind of um uh notable ones ah. oh that sucks i missed the first one because yeah that's all the films i haven't seen oh that's okay that's okay um maybe i'll have to grab some of those links from you oh definitely so i can because i'd love to i'd love to catch up on um i think yeah, I had to buy a French triple DVD set to get most of their short films and their first two features. Yeah. Um, and I had to rent their third feature, which is a documentary. Which one? Which one stood out to you? Was there one that like really was notable that we that you or or would you actually even recommend I watch them? Like, are, are some of them passes for you? Uh, the documentary is amazing. Okay. Really good. Um, I have to check that out. Daddy Long Legs, or the other two names for it, um, is is a is a good modern, like it's a real film. Yeah. Um, it's insane. Like the characters, total fuck up. It's like kind completely. Of their whole deal. Yeah, that's their whole deal. <laughs> um, that one, I I would I would say go for that one. Okay, cool. Um, their other feature and other shorts, eh, hit and miss. Like you can you can see their evolution of oh no oh now I oh, watched no. my destruction. I thought I'm also like making a chat about that um, too. Yeah, that too. It was it's a distraction. Huge factor. Level six. Well, you gave it a great go. Mm -hmm. You did awesome on this. Uh, okay, we'll move on to the next, and uh, we'll discuss some safety some more. Uh, Game of the Bear Polar Opposites last show we did Game of the Bear 2 Much okay. to Bear the sequel and this is another Game of the Bear game on the 7800 the last one was 2600 so I'm really looking forward to this one um, because I played we played I think we had a we played an early early version of this um, so it only had some of the levels so I haven't seen a lot of the levels of this one So this is a platformer, puzzle platformer. The puzzles are easy puzzles. It's just the obstacles, jumping the obstacles, the timing, like most VHC games. It's a cute one too. Look at this. Super cute. Do not let its cuteness deceive you. It is one of the harder, um, <laughs> harder games yeah, they've the made. Pain, he's made. The pain beginning. A harder ones. Uh, most of his are. Are fair like I'm able to get to the end of them pretty true, easy. I this am. one is this one is challenging. Once, Once upon a bear, he's on an island. An alien uh -oh. picks him up. Oh, uh, evil uh, penguin. Man, you're trapped. But are you? I tell you, man. Don't jump into those spikes. I'll just tell you that. Okay. Do I just nudge. Oh, behind the big pillar of ice. Up. Now you're out. Obviously, you can't get past that. There's a little lever, lever up there that looks like it would turn that off. Do I just boing? What are you talking about, James? This is easy. Game. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah, the, you're the, being lured into it. This is how they get you. Yeah. This is how they get you. Trampoline in there. Um, so you can download this in the Atari Age forums. Uh, uh, the bear's name is Ursulo. A simplification of Ursulum, Ursus and suffix Ulum, that in Latin means little bear. Can't jump that high. I have to find a different path. Oh yeah, I'm understanding the. Uh, <laughs> it's getting uh, getting challenged. It's already popping off. We haven't even really started. Okay, okay, that's right. I'm just gonna go over here and investigate the situation. Yeah. Hmm. 
I'm so gonna you've got some you got a pit there with some spikes. So it, you've got some The pathway forward is unclear because I could kinda check out the thing on the left. I yeah. could drop down here. Most of his games are fairly linear, but with slight diversions of like, oh you could go this way. Okay, so I'm gonna just like go for a whim here and I'm gonna try this situation because it feels like the least. Oh, your purple blood went everywhere. Okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay, good. Open now, up. now this side. Gone. Destroyed into a pile of blue. Dirt. Okay, now what? There's a situation over here, right? Yeah. Now I'm just kind of feeling. There's a gap there. I kind of. Two dangers. I don't think like running and jumping over that is what I really want to do right now. Well, it is. <laughs> it's what I have to do. Yeah. Oh, it fuck. is. No. Well, you don't have to do that yet. Oh, maybe, maybe you don't. Maybe it's this side first. Not like. This. Maybe you could do this side first. I'm gonna check out what's up here. Do some reconnaissance, James. Yeah. I feel like just I'm in danger everywhere. <laughs> There's like, so I much just danger. Just don't. Okay, I'm. Pit of lava. I'll tell you what. I'm happy that I'm up top. Uh, yeah. The bottom is is much danger, but is the thing you need to get to on the top or the bottom. Ah, you picked the right path. Did I? Maybe? Holy shit. We'll see. I'm kind of doing reconnaissance for me, too. <laughs> I haven't played this game in so long. Last time we played it was December 24th, so almost half a year ago. I can't remember any of it. Plus, there's many more levels. I think you're gonna have to run through the. Oh, oh see, my timing. I got a little. You know when you like focus on the. Yep. Because the speed it goes up. Ooh. Oh, baby. Did you mistime that? Or... No, you can't stand in the middle of those. Oh, yeah, you can't make it. Okay. It's going higher. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, so. Oh, go. Are those constant or do they turn off? Oh. Okay, okay. One, two, three. There's a, ooh, nice. There's a locked door there. Oh, no. Yeah, you're going to have to go all the way back. Looks like the middle path is the one you want. reset you. Is it the middle path? Let's try this out. Let's see what happens. I feel like mistakes have been made already. <laughs> okay, now I can get back. I can get back. Okay, spikes are no good. Spikes are no good, yeah. Uh, no, don't go there. That's not... Okay, so... Um, I need a key. I need a I key. I saw the key, and it was on the bottom. Was it on the bottom? Yeah. Here? Okay. Always gotta have bats. Always bats. Whoa! <laughs> He's throwing projectiles. Oh, man. Oh, whoa, that was close. Okay, so you've got... Oh, no, can't reach it. Is All these that, fun puzzles. Is it that simple? Uh, now you can get the key. Oh, I gotta go back. So this is the way you have to go. Oh, God. Because you have to turn that off so you can get the key. So then you can come back, open that door. Holy fuck. Yeah. He makes... Uh, VHC makes very... <laughs> oh! <laughs> very good use of levels. Where you can divide the level up into like two or three or even four sometimes. To make use of getting back and forth. And, um... Come on. Up here. No? Okay. Green fire is much worse than the regular kind. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, you know this is chemicals are being burned. <laughs> it's green, it's not just pure yeah. oxygen burning. And uh, it's it's some, something in there that's uh, not quite nice. Not that fire is good anytime. Oh, I gotta get through that, too. Oh, my God. That one's pretty easy. I gotta get through. Oh, you gotta get through that. What even is that? Hey, you should be burrowing. He likes, to, he likes to burrow, and Sprite I'll, really likes I'll to burrow. I'll take some burrowing. Why yeah. not? I'll take some burrowing. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Um, is this uh, another possible? one? Oh yeah, it's possible. I think. Can you duck? No. 
No. No. Okay. So you don't need to duck. You're short enough. And so I basically I gotta like go with it. Yeah. Go with it and then wait and then go after it, but one spike at a time. But like, won't I get like demolished if I like? If you hit it. If I hit yeah. it. Hold on. So if I go like one. Oh. Oh. Those spikes made quick work. You gonna do it again? Yeah. I'll try one more. You didn't make it very far. No, so. I'll try one more and then I'll pass. It you know over. which way to go now. It's pretty quick. So you want to? Hi. Um, another one is Black Balloon that you should definitely check out. Black by Balloon. By the Safties. It's um, some of their films are like a collection of ideas. Yeah. Strung together with, you know, something. And this one is, you know, strung together with balloons. And it's just a bunch of vignettes of usually you're with it, with their films. They're, you're thrust into a terrible situation already. You're, it's already happening. Like panic is set in with this person oh, and yeah, their yeah, life like, is bad. Yeah, you're, they're, they're in the throes. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, and Black Balloon is like that, ex except it's like three or four or five um, different little parts of people's lives. And you can see where they got their, their, their evolution of their writing. Um, they started by filming just people on the street. Like just random people. They just had their cameras out and they're filming the people that whatever camera they had. And then they evolved into films of fictionalized versions of these people that they film on the street, experience in their lives, and strung them together. Like I said, it's like little vignettes of this. And then they evolved into, okay, let's keep one protagonist and have them do all these terrible things in their life and just have it escalate. We start with the kind of not so great thing to like the worst thing you can imagine happening in their life. How did this go, go again? So uh, like, you needed to th go. This guy's locked. Left. I gotta go. Like, down. Yeah, yeah. I think so. You... Around and down, and, and then, then pass got... that bat to the left there. Yeah, that feels right. And then put the door up so you can get the key. You have to go back around to get the key, and then you'll have to come back again. Whoa, that was close. Oh. No. Dude in one. Okay. And each successive film or short film refines their um, storytelling. Yeah. Um, the characters are better. The acting is better. The filmmaking is better. Um, whoa. No! Oh, no. I'm typically not the best platformer, but I'm, I'm holding it together. You are, yeah. I'm yeah. holding it together. Gotta go back to the left and get that key. Yeah, they have. Um, I think that like the thing about those those filmmakers, man, is it's just like it's very. There's not that many contemporary filmmakers that have such a strong specific voice. It's that's so specific, so immersive too. Yeah. Like their films are just like almost in some level to like in a way that like I almost can't recommend to some people because you no, get you no. get so immersed in this world that's actually a fucking nightmare it's it's a nightmare their worlds are nightmares you would never be friends with these people in the film like you would just walk away and go whoa like, this I'm is done. drama city yeah and it's like and the way they shoot scenes as well like this, oh, this yeah I mean because uh, I was doing a little bit of reading oh. and oh no this is where it all falls apart and watching some videos on them and the person described them as they have two shots the long and the extreme close up yeah. that's pretty much their go to shots and um, oh. oh no I'll pass it over here and the, the close up gives you the claustrophobic and the long shot gives you the believability let your voyeur of the, their yeah. world and so it gives it like, oh, I'm watching almost a documentary style of yeah. this this life. I think I think my favorite of theirs is probably Good Time. Oh, and really? then I think Uncut Gems. Wow, um, I loved Uncut Gems. Me too, but uh, but the thing about Good Time is it's just really special performances from oh, from okay. some, from some of the actors. Um, Uncut Gems is like it's they're they're both incredible. 
Yeah, and one person described their films as, oh, what a waste. Um, as they remake the same film over and over and over and over again. And, and me watching this evolution, before seeing uh, the other two that I haven't seen, because um, I've seen Uncut Gems. Um, Uncut Gems, to me, seems like the culmination of perfection of what they're trying to achieve yeah. with their characters. And it's so personal, too. Like, a lot of, apparently, like, um, the story of how the next one that's happening, which is, the, like, the one that's heaven, it's the, about the heroin addict. Right. Um, was apparently they were um, doing research for Uncut Gems, mm. um, and there was this uh, this woman who worked with, because their father, it was based off of the, Uncut Gems based off of their father, who was a deep gambling addict, oh. who, who worked at a jewelry store. Yeah. And um, there was this, like, assistant he had, then, and they were, like and he got to know this like guy that was very much wasn't his father but it was i believe it was somebody like similar in like in like the archetype yeah. um and they were researching and then this woman they would basically like see um uh, and they noticed that there was this like boyfriend in her life Elia, and whenever he came into her life her life would go insane <laughs> and they would start to talk to her and she had all these crazy stories of her life and so they said we'll pay you to write your memoir oh. and we'll adapt your memoir into a movie and we'll pay you per page so if you can write all these stories down <laughs> wow. we'll give you like a dollar her page or something like that and then they like started to work with her and realized she's a great actress so she's the the writer of it's her life and yeah. she's the star of the film but it's based off of so it's this weird overlap between like documentary and narrative fiction yeah oh wow so um it's it's a really interesting film and and it's in some ways it's kind of almost an anomaly from theirs because it's so authentic about like heroin in new york and right um, apparently one of the actors too who was in it like got um uh oh you can go through that so you don't yeah, have to go it's a, all... it's a one way though oh that's great news <laughs> i was thinking you'd have to go all the way back <laughs> But one of the actors um, who who's who's one of the leads in it, he actually got like uh, busted for a crime, and there was a parole out for him. And they were like mid filming, and he went to the brothers, and he was like, he's like, I'm gonna like hold off and not get arrested so we can finish this movie. <laughs> and then apparently they like, held it together and like presumably as soon as the film was like wrapped, yeah. he, then the cops caught him and he wasn't there for like the premiere of the film. Oh my god. And so like they were and but he was like but he knew how much it meant to the to the boys. So he yeah. was like, trust me, we're not gonna So <laughs> so that's the next one on the docket and it's a really interesting movie for that reason. Uh. It's sort of a hybrid between documentary and it's weird to have an actress who's like Playing it's her themselves. life yeah and she was um and she and she's tremendous in it and then they have an and 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 basically non-actors but there's one actor in it um who you'll know you'll know him from oh, okay um, yeah they do reuse their uh, same actors um, over and over and over well he he's like um he's an insanely good character actor mm. um and you might not even notice him in the movie because he's so in part but if you look up the things that he's done you'll be like oh I know this guy oh really <laughs> um, okay and it's neat to see the like the balance so it's like yeah the next the next uh, like run of films will be like really interesting I'm assuming if you fall oh, it's, what it's is that de thing? death oh my god oh it explodes you have to get off of it. okay <sighs> oh, so you have to jump could not be higher. oh it's like a Oh, this is like this isn't happy times with bears. <laughs> no, it is not happy. Can I run under it? I guess I have to. Oh, you see that? Like you had this weird. Oh. Okay, I don't know how that like that window. I don't know how that works, but I think you have to push it a couple times or. Yeah, thrust the ad blocker is like a common, uh, common thwarts whatever <laughs> you're trying to do. What's funny? I used to. I was gonna get like um, uh, YouTube Premium. Yeah. And and I was like, I really want to just block these ads. And my <laughs> friend was like, Why don't you just get an ad blocker? And that works on YouTube. And I was like, Really? And then I did it, and I was like, Oh, it works. <laughs> oh, we pay for it because we also use the music, the YouTube music, so and, it goes in hand, and hand. And you can't do that if you want to run it into your TV. Um, so if you want to play like your TV, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. 
this. I kind of need it. Yeah, because, I mean, you could. You could use a pie hole or put it yeah. in your router. So there are ways, ways to do it. But it's more of a pain in the ass. But like, I just watched it on my computer, so it was like, it solved all my problems. But then I occasionally will have the same thing where you'd be like, why does this website's features not work? And you go, oh, it's because... Did I go the wrong way? No, it's still happening. Okay. This is a nightmare. <laughs> it's a nightmare world. We were just basking on our island, just hanging out, just doing our thing, and then out of nowhere, plucked into this nightmarish existence. No. How is this? Do I have to push it. Push it. How did I do that? Maybe if you hold it for a bit. There. Oh, no, that's not quite it. There's like a timing thing. Nope. Oh, nope. What the hell? You can. E okay, Thrust says. What? Now that I know, I can temporarily disable it for tree time. That's so right. Apparently, Pi Hole doesn't block YouTube ads. Oh, doesn't it? Okay, well, it does work for some things. Yeah. I'm just invest. Oh, oh, God. This feels bad, especially when you, you know you need it. Yeah. You know that you need it. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, but it's so sick you're in the in the Safdie Brothers. Um, and I'm, you're just honestly, man, you're so lucky that you're going to get to watch these two films for the first time. They're, they're really, it's they're just <laughs> That's like... That's always a good saying. It's like, oh, I wish I could watch it again. They're just really like, they're just really quality films. Oh, now I can watch it. And, you know, and the thing is, is like, I've just seen too many films that like, not all films are like worth watching, <laughs> you know? Uh, no. And, and, but when you find like a good movie that's actually like really worth it. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. When, when you're like, oh my god, yeah. this movie. Oh, always the Pong. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, what a cool pattern. And that guy at the bottom moves quick. Wow, that's crazy. I'm also using, maybe I made exception for Twitch. What else is bugging you? <laughs> what else is bugging me? Mm -hmm. I, yeah. actually, I actually have like not too many things that are bothering me these days. I'm pretty, I'm not, I'm not too bothered by life. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's um, good. But I think it's Push also I think it's also like in terms of like being bothered by things. There's so many things to be bothered about yeah. that you can like spend all this energy doing that. I'm kind of at this more of a zen place in my Ooh. life these days where I think you just run. Yeah. Just boom, 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 boom. And I think hopefully they come back. Probably not. A7. We got to remember that. That's pretty easy. Apple, A7. Apple 7. Everybody remember that? A7? Okay, good. They come back. I got no, you. Don't worry. Seven. Apple seven. Apple seven. A major with the seventh. Ah, there we go. Oh, thanks, dude. You typed it into the chat. That helps, that helps a, a lot. lot. Now we don't have to try to remember it with our weird codes. You know, one of the apparently a technique to remembering like big numbers is to subdivide them into smaller number numbers. Really? So, for example, let's say you needed to learn about you need to remember one thousand and eight. Yeah. If you go ten oh eight, ten or actually yes. better, actually a better example is like eleven thousand one hundred and twelve. It's actually better to go eleven twelve. So if you can like subdivide uh, it into yes. smaller. I mean, that's a very easy example, but yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So it's like techniques for for these things. Okay, snowmen. Nope. Oh my oh, god. Oh, RC70, I... you only watch ZPH on here? Oh, well, thank you. Okay, what am I. Ooh, what am I gonna do? Go under that guy? It's not enough time. Enough time there either. Oh, what? Oh, no, you can no, no. jump. Too, oh, no, no, no. What I do is wait, then go here, and then go under. Perfect. Oh, wasting lives. Okay, oh. what's the zappies? What is the pattern? It's a hard game, dude. Yeah, this is his hardest, It's a I think. hard, hard game. It's not a computer. Yeah. Okay, what's but the pattern? I know it's a stupid old phrase, you know, don't sweat the small stuff, but like, yeah. it's keeping me alive these days, you know? Because it's like, there's yeah. just so much, it's just, there's so much in life you can be like, stressed about. Worried about, and, and, and in the end, does it really affect you? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I just have to not to get the fire. Okay. Sometimes there's a lot on the screen and you're like, ah, oh, overwhelmed, but actually it's easy to get by. Snowmen are just fucking with our stuff. <laughs> they all the are. Time. They're everywhere. We got lasers everywhere. Oh, oh, what am I doing? I know the pattern and I messed up. Okay. Okay, I need to get up to that computer, but do I need to go left first? I wasn't paying attention what was oh, down, sorry, I down known. here. All I know is A7. A7. It's good. It's good. We need A7. Oh, I do need that computer. Yeah, okay. And this looks like, oh, I was going to say That's it's easy, easy but. Like, it is. 
C4. C4. Explosive. Yes, A7 and C4. I need to need to remember that. I need to get it. It's going up the way towards me. Nice. A7, C4. Can somebody type that in the chat, please? The explosive number. We need the explosive. Yeah. And and actually type A7 space C4 so we can keep, keep it rolling. Yeah. So I need to get up to that computer now. Ooh, okay. Now, I'm gonna I don't know check what's going on with our first. Yeah, good idea. A7, C4. So I need that one more key because these are all numbers. Oh, A7, C4. So it would be 7 something 4. Okay, that guy looks like trouble. Are you just firing those things or are you going to be actual trouble? No, he's fine. A7, B7, C4. So 774. Nobody's helping us? No. No, no, no. That's okay. That's, <laughs> That's okay. Fine. We got this. Luckily, we got our. Should iron I go iron. up top when it's too late now? Yeah, I think up top <laughs> would have been easier, but I think yeah. you got this. Yeah, that's fine. A7. So 774. Yep. Thank you, Chelsea Donnie Mao. Oh, thank you. I'm not, I haven't heard. I've been. You probably emerged. In the, in the in the modern era, new wish, contemporary yeah. era. Because I don't recognize your name. Good to see yeah, you. Yeah, there's the 2600 help, era, and then there's the explosion of all the other systems. So era. sick. Now there was a path back. Yeah. But this is for COVID bricked us. COVID bricked us. Yeah, that's true. That was okay. I think this. Oh, that's more lives right there. Good. We need that. Yeah, I'm down to four. Oh, is birds now fucking with nice. us? Nice. Oh. Let's get some hearts. No, nothing? Oh, what? do I have to flip that switch first, maybe? I guess so. Okay. They're only around the edge, so that's not too bad. Just have to make sure I don't oh, jump I'm going to go see uh, Return of the King tonight. Oh, yeah. They're playing in Richmond. They have, like, because uh, it's the 20th um, anniversary. Ah. Which is terrifying. <laughs> it is very it terrifying. Came out yes. Do we oh, get more than I think one? I just got one. <laughs> Uh, I want more than one. Maybe it can reset it. I don't care too much about the time, because I've never finished this game, so I'm going for completion. Yeah. And lives will help me get there. Wait, is it ticking there down? Yeah, you get a. They. He usually does that for because oh. it. It acts as a score. It acts as a time limit as well, and it acts for speed runs too. Wow. So it works in multiple. Um, ways so it's really really ingenious it's really good but definitely punishing gain oh this one is a little bit harder yeah, oh it's gonna load up but it's but you can see how because of this time factor i'm also recognizing too that like you can load up but also you're if you're good at it you don't need them right yeah. you don't need the lives but it's good that you got this infinite supply but now i'm understanding that you can time out it's like yeah but i i think i'm going to go for lives as many as i can get and I, oh, let's see how many it goes for and that's it. Okay, okay. Yep, that's it. So was there another path to the right? Yes. Oh, uh, well, I'm over here right now. So yeah, you went on. Here. Check it out and see. Is oh, the... I bet I have to go right first. Let me just yeah, flip unless over unless here. it's like completely effed. This looks pretty effed to me. Do I walk? Oh, that's a bouncy thing. Yeah, just check out what's on the other side. Yeah. Of the right first. Not gonna yeah. see. Oh, so much. These guys aren't too bad though. No. Oh, no. Fast in in the grand scheme of bats. Yeah, I think I need to do that at the part I think first. So too, yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna see. And I watched um Two Towers last night. Oh, to, to good. Prep, just because I wanted yeah. to see it. Um, it's amazing films. It's so films. good. They're masterpieces. And, and I normally watch actually the theatrical version of the Two Towers because oh. I find the extended so long. <laughs> they are long. Um, which is not a bad thing, but it was really nice to see the extended because I haven't seen some of these extended scenes. Oh, okay. But I yeah. also, I also always have this feeling of like... Oh, no, this is not the right way. <laughs> oh, or is it? I no, think, I can't. I think that's, you can climb. That's a Mario, uh, Super Mario um, type thing. Ever. Nice. Nice. Okay, one, oh, two, God, three, the mechanics four. of this game are so good. They're unbelievable. VHZC is now a master of this type of game. And he's always been pretty much a master. Oh, right from the beginning. You could tell. Like, he has. Oh, what's going on? There's the key. Good. I'm going the right way. Oh, there's two. 
dormant ones. Those look like they're gonna come alive. Yeah. Oh, it's not bad. It just goes. goes on. Oh my god. Oh, I should have gone all the way up. Damn it! Ah, oh. uh, there's oh. bonus stuff up. Oh, I'll go around hurts. again. Oh boy. Okay. And now. No, too late. That's rough. Okay. Yeah, there's a now. timing. And now. No, oh God, my lives. My, my XP's. My Laban. Oh God. Okay, I gotta go back the same way I came. Whoa. And then down. Uh, yes. I, that definitely is maybe more lives. I can climb pretty fast. Ooh, oh, this is a shortcut. Whoa, what a really cool design. Yeah. It's like centipede. Yeah, it's like buzz saws and they overlap. Ooh, how am I going to? I have to go in the middle. Okay, got Good it. Work. Yeah, it'd be toast. <gasps> oh, now it's. Oh, my God. Double. Enemy. What? Oh, what? What do I do here? Is it like a a sand situation? Can you jump in... on them? Like, what's dangerous? I don't know. I'm guessing I'm... they are, and I sink in this. Yeah. Oh, don't even sink. Okay, good. Okay. It's fine. Oh, this is making very. Oh, it's a shortcut to here. Okay. 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 Now, I got to move this. It's actually not too bad. And then jump up when they're done. Two, three. And I have the key. Good. Yay! Okay. We're on the right path. The path to victory is upon us. But I, but I'd say um, uh, Return of the King is the one I see the least. I've started. I've uh -huh. you know you shouldn't start to watch like the trilogy and then you yeah. don't make it. Oh, I always make it. <laughs> I'm in for the long haul extended version 12 hour oh, it's marathon. It's too much for me, man. <laughs> I, li I like it a lot, but I'm. I like that. I actually. The thing that's a, a shame to me is like one of the beauties I think of like the two towers is the rhythm of the of the intercutting of the mm, story. Yes. It's so beautifully timed, that's and you really don't feel that in the extended versions. There's no rhythm oh. to this sort of intercutting between the scenes. It's like these long scenes. Like, <laughs> but that's what you're in for. It's more like the. Yeah. It feels uh, like um, I was saying like because I watched it with a couple friends. I was saying that it, it feels like um, you know when you play a game and you have like the main quest. Oh, um, yeah. That it feels like um, theatrical cut is just the main quest and <laughs> yes. extended is like all the side the quests. Side quest, yep. I feel like you have to go to that bottom one. Yep. Oh my God. Okay, what is happening here? Okay, I gotta turn that off. That ledge is safe. Oh God. Okay. Oh no, what am Ooh, I doing? When it gets trapped. Okay, I gotta. Gotta go for it. Yeah. Yes. Oh, you got it. You got it. But then you have to time that. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Oh, good work. Superior better, platforming. Better than me. I'm not. You have platforming skills. I, I mean, you have. There's tactics, right? Um, oh, what is happening? Let's find out. Like, are they gonna go up? Are I they feel like they're gonna go, go down. Oh, nothing. Okay. What is that one in the bottom? Let's find out. Oh, 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 I see. I've seen things like this. The rotation. Yeah, it's due to stressing me out as well, Carl, like watching some of these screens. Oh, went to the right plot uh, part. Good. Oh, a cannon. I know what that does. I know I've seen that before in his games. I like with these games too that really does like um knowledge of the game definitely like increases your your oh hundred percent and and there's carryover from other of his games, so familiarity with his like this I know because it's a canon. Um, familiarity with his the traps. Oh, these drop bombs. Oh, these birds. It's just nonstop with these animals. <laughs> And it's the most wholesome, nice oh, things. They're just... It just seems to be similar. Ooh, good and stuff. I'm going to have to come back. Yep. yep. Of course. Oh, I... This is where I, I... What? Did I miss going up there? No. no. I, don't, I don't believe you did. Yeah, the, I couldn't... I physically those couldn't... Those can be very hard. I don't know why I couldn't do those. 
they're challenging. It's it's timing and um, and spacing. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That's easy. just so many oh it's gonna make you fall or something oh thank god up to oh, seven oh. eight more eight nine i'll take nine now what's back here i know i have to go that way Ooh. okay that's probably the path forward um more. <laughs> always try for more never I know need, I, need more. I don't know how i'm doing on time that's always a yeah, because you can't, you don't, it's Damn hard, it. it's hard to, it's hard to, like, conceptualize, like, where you're at. Yeah. <sighs> what? <gasps> Boss. Oh, and I can't get out. Okay. Okay, what do I do? I'm going to press. Got him. Oh, good. There's a safe part. Oh, thanks. Oh, okay, cool. This isn't as bad, but no. I don't want to say that. Cause, Got him. Because pride before the fall is what oh, they say. Oh, yeah. Okay, now it's on the left. Nice. Okay, boss is done. <laughs> That's cool that they have, like, the mechanical thing on the side. It's such a so great. Thing. Like, it's, yeah. Uh, now should I go back? I think the game I should... sounds a bit delayed. Was that? Oh, what that is. Let me try and fix that. Thank you for letting me know. I know how to fix it temporarily or on the fly but Ooh. i don't know how to permanently fix it uh, yeah anyway i think i should go up to that ladder because that seems like a major way forward there's a boss the boss wouldn't be a side quest kind of thing yeah we may as well we don't we don't lose anything to check it no. out More? More keep quick. going wrong way is what he said well if it's Oh, okay, I should go that first and then go back. We'll find out. We'll find yeah, out. I, I don't think I've been up here. This is wrong way. Should I go to the right or go up first? Yeah, let us know, Ivory. Because. <laughs> mm. Come on. Tell me. Come tell me. Tell me. Uh... Give me the goods. Left, <laughs> left or right? So that's yeah, left or right. L, L or R. Okay. No. Okay. I'll go back to the boss. Okay, so then it's to the up. Then it's to the up. Thanks Thank so you much. so much. It saves us some time. I'm still getting worried about time, actually. Like so six. am I. It's 600 left. But one doesn't simply finish. Uh, <laughs> VHS I think I'm pretty close to the end because this is 58 know? screens, and I think he only has 60 screens. But <sighs> okay, this one is a turning, so I have to make sure I don't do it. I, think I should do it here. Yeah, and then again. No. Oh my no! god! So stupid. Not like this. Ah! No. I didn't anticipate that uh, last one. Well, Dodgers lose game two to Cubes, 13 to zero. Rookies. Shut out now, 10 wins and 11 losses. It makes me very sad. Is that basketball? <laughs> Are you talking about sports? I think that's basketball <laughs> you're talking about. Can I hop over these? Yes. I'm not a big sports guy. Nope, neither am I. I do know fighting though. That's one, one of the things I like. Like UFC or yeah, boxing? Yeah, I like UFC. I don't okay. like boxing very much. Um, this seems to be a long path. Baseball said, There's I no don't way back. I think I went the wrong way. Let's let's keep going. Let's well, see. I can't. I can't go back. So this is the only way. Oh no, I can't. Oh, Never can. mind. <laughs> oh, I think thank he just you. saved our life, dude. I think he did. I think I think this whole operation's been, been saved. Oh Ooh. my god, what am I gonna do? That no. Enough time to go right after? Yes. Just enough, actually. I did. That's easy. I'll be back. Hopefully, I can get some more lives because. Oh, this is a this rough is timing. one. Dude. Is it oh, timing? Yeah, it is. How much time do I have? Probably I think you got enough. enough. What's nice is I don't think you're going to rip from these like spikes unless you like. Okay, that is not much time. 
Yeah, he said if you were running to another locked door, 100% would have happened. That is just enough time. Hello, monkeys. God, like, these animals, you'd think animals would Whoa. be, like, nicer to manage, but monkeys, all these quaint things are, are just, like, wrecking our lives, man. They are. It's like, so angry. It's like bats are destroying us. Mm, I'll get it on the way back now. Yeah, we... I think baseball is one of those games where it really benefits from playing it and really knowing it. Um, yeah. Um, Boom. <laughs> but, uh, dude, if you're into whatever you're into, it's, it's awesome. Ho it's hockey's fun. the one that I can watch because there's so much non-stop action. Basketball is too boring because the, the scores get just so astronomically high. <laughs> it's like score, 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 yeah. score. It's like, man, no, it's too boring. Um, more please? Yes. yes Soccer's yeah, not too bad, many. but the scoring's too low. Yeah. It's like zero zero. It's like okay, I just wasted two or three hours watching yeah. people kick a ball all over the place. Okay, this looks hard. This is is scary. it? Scary. It is scary actually. Ooh, gonna make it. Yeah. yeah, it's not too bad once you figure it out. Whoa. Ooh, I didn't know that was gonna come back like that. Okay. <laughs> but I think a huge factor is if you play the, a game, you have yeah. such a like respect and admiration for them. And I mean, the thing is, is any professional athlete in any field is just a, a complete oh, wonder and an amazing abilities. I have to hit that at some point. Oh my god! Oh my god! What does he do? Well, that's not bad. And you yeah, go under him. It's terrifying. It's but terrifying. It's... Oh my god! Oh my god. Luckily we got those we got those. Oh, okay. okay. Only have to deal with one. Bad. Okay, we're gonna it's a bunch of them. become good friends with these guys. Oh yeah. Okay. They pause. Get in the middle. Pause. Okay. Yeah. There's not much time there. Yeah. That's back and forth. That's not bad. I like um, the thing I like about MMA is it's the most unpredictable thing in the world. It's so hard to know what will happen. Yeah, and it's just a, and also I was I'm a, I'm a really interested in martial arts always in, in like how it expresses itself and mm. goes out in the history of of all that stuff. Um, but it's not for everybody. No, it's it's quite violent. <laughs> oh yeah, and and quite nerve wracking. It's like oh my god, that person's gonna destroy their body. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, transportation. Okay, oh. that part's over. So this, I'm pretty sure, is one of those where you hit it and you move across cool. automatically. This is like, you know how those like mods of Mario that make it like so it much harder? Yes. It's like a little shades of that where it's it does like... does feel like it's that. For, it's, this is like an advanced platformer. I don't think you die getting hit. Good. No. God, this time factor is such an X factor. 300 left? Because like... <laughs> Well, you know, don't know how time, much is left, right? Time management is everything. And it's tough because it's kind of like you don't need the time until you need it, you know? Yeah. Okay. But it's it's neat to have time as like a as a component of the game. It's the it same is. it's the same with like something like chess as well, where like the game is pure tactics and skills. Mm. You know, you can just sit there and watch and play it forever. Like when you add time as like a component of challenge, it actually like may, can make games a lot better. Give me. It, no. Yeah, it changes your tactics and how many, how much, how deep you can. Uh, and time management, right? Like uh, investing time in like, yeah. and like here is a I, great example of like exactly of health versus time. And right this I, is pretty quick as opposed to the other one. Took a little bit longer to get the lives. This is like, yeah, I'm getting every life I can before. I think this is boss. This is right before the boss for okay. sure. Oh, that's it. Eight. 70, 75 this feels like maybe 100 there's either a boss right there or a path or a hallway to a boss let's see here it is Ooh, that's, okay that's the boss james it's about to pop off it is it's 256 like, and eight off. lives oh no not yet oh oh now it is okay what's happening oh, what no. the... oh this is gonna be a long okay, yeah, path i was gonna okay, say maybe you should have to him yeah i think so Ooh, get it to the edge okay 
Then I go back down, do the same thing. Rinse, repeat. Yeah, not as such. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. James is in the zone. We can't. Don't mess with me. <laughs> Come burrow here. Oh, it was sitting on the ground. Ugh. Does the damage reset, do you think? Uh, that's always a question. Oh, that was way too late. Oh, uh, come on. Okay. Throwing cat. Throwing cat. Throwing cat. Oh, don't go. Timing on this is... Take it slow. Don't rush it. This is definitely the final boss because there's no way to add, add another bunch of paths. I don't have any time left. And I didn't think I did it like fast, but I didn't do it slow. Yeah, again. you weren't like. I wasn't hey, that's my hoodie, buddy. He it's does like strings. Point. We're gonna hide this from you. I know, that's it, a good I know what you want. This is my pouch. <gasps> hey, you crazy guy. Get him. No, no, please don't start over. Oh, God. Yeah, is it cumulative, do you think, or do you think it resets every time? It's tot I, I, I can't even say what games, like, what most games do. I'm not even sure. Some, some are cumulative, and some are... Oh, my God! Three left. Also, it's so sick because it's like the time that you've got here is like precious. It is. It's and every, questionable. It's all, how it's much all time coming I've to left. a head, man. Yeah. This is a game where just like yeah, time management and knowledge of the game is totally changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I missed it. Oh, oh my no. god. I kind of think it resets because of the like. Yeah, I've hit him quite a lot. Of times. Especially because the the kind of like. I, Okay, I'm gonna count how many times you can hit him in without dying. It's just sort of like. So we got one. Three or five tends to be the magic number. It's almost always an odd number. I, I bet it's five. <laughs> no, That's god five. damn it. Oh, down to the wire, too. Like the time. Fuck. Yeah, it's my last life. Maybe. Not to add any more pressure. Right? I gotta just be more careful. Be on the defensive. The tortoise. Because my lives are much less than my time now. Yes. Because his timing isn't too bad if you're not rushing it. Yeah, his timing's fine. I can deal with the timing. Well, apparently not, because that's the thing that kills me. It's just, it's just because you're like you're, you're pushing it, which is the natural tendency. think so. Okay, so I think five. I bet you. Yeah. Four. Okay. Take your time, you guys. No rush. Don't worry about the time. Yeah. Five. Five. Okay, okay, okay. Next room, next room, next room, next room, next room. Ah! Go, 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 go. Oh my god, no. Okay, okay. We got it. have to rush. Let's just check out this next room. Let's see, is this next room? Three, two, two one. No! no! <laughs> oh, oh. That was definitely the last room. Not like this. No. Not like this. Rewind. Not like this. Huh. Oh. <laughs> That's definitely, that's definitely it. We're, oh my god. You gotta, re, you gotta revisit this Pathetic. one. Oh no, that was like, this true poetry in motion. Oh, it's black, blue and black, that's why I can't see it. It's treat time! Treat well, at least somebody gets some treats. Oh. It's treat time. Yum. Ivory yum, Tower yum, Collections, yum. was that the last room? Was it the last room? Yeah, dude, this is a sick game. He's his style. He's one of the best. Oh. He's one of the. He's he's kind of one of the goats. Master of, like, of just game design. Game design in general. Just like this is a whole other level. Oh oh oh! One I think there's strike. one more room. Oh, I knew not it. like this. 
Not like this. Can you close the door? Yeah. He, oh, he's going to wait till he comes back in. Because he, um, let's stop you from ringing for a second. Wait till he's fully in. There we go. Okay, there we go. It's 1-1. One, one. Switch to cat cam. Who triggered that? Who triggered the cat? Uh, it thrust, is thrust. Did. There you go. One Yo. for you. Did he ring? Oh, he did. 2-2. Two, two. We're doing good. Tara, you can keep it up. Keep it up. 3-2. Two. Come on. Come on. You got it, Tari. Four two. Come on. Bring it. No. <laughs> Bring it. Bring it. Five two. Oh, Atari, you're not understanding the concept. Now you're just hitting the floor, buddy. <laughs> Come on, hit it. You've lost the plot. Five two. Oh, come on. Bring it. This. Tari, I'm in your corner. You're the underdog of this race. Six two. Oh, oh got six it. three. Okay. You're back in the race. Back in it. Seven three. Seven four. What Tanya does, she throws it like way over here, like in there. Eight, five. Does it double count or is it just? No, no, no. Nine, five. Come on. Nine, six. And it's game point. It's over. Sprite. Oh, 10, six. Sprite. There you go. Get some consolation. Yums. Good stuff. I don't think the clock stops until you hit the last teleport, so it wasn't even that close. So there was one more room past that than the teleport, but I was like damn close. Well, you could damn definitely damn close. You could you could definitely uh, oh. clear it with another. With another I run. think so. Um, but that's one of his harder games. Oh yeah, for sure. Because usually I can make it through all the way with enough time to spare, and. Um, and that one, I did not. I did not make it. I'm just gonna wash my hands. Yeah, definitely. It's, it was a super impressive run. Like I would have, like you saw how far I got. I couldn't even jump over spikes to like, <laughs> like that's that's the level that I was at. But I think James also has a skill with um, platformers. Um, I've never been like a great love pla platformers. never been a great platformer guy. I find like driving games and platformers I are I'm on the weaker end. Um, oh, driving games too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've never I'm been. I've never okay been great I've never with been, drivers. I've, I've never also, been great. I've also never loved them. Um, not they're oh they're fine, but like some people like Mario Kart is like that is as good as it gets. And Mario I'm not, Kart's a little bit different than just a straight up driving because I find the straight up driving ones are a little like samey yeah. over and over again unless there's like enemies or power ups like Mario yeah. Kart. But even then, I don't. I'm not drawn to them. Yeah, and I also grew up in the in the FPS like generation where we played lots yes. of Halo and COD, and so like that's a whole thing, and a lot of like online stuff too. I did tons of Halo One, Halo Two, Halo Three, yeah. ODST. Like, um, and I grew up in the age of shooters. It was all space shooters, yeah. right? So that's that's what I love. And then I got into platformers when it got to like the NES days with Mario and stuff like that, Super Mario Brothers. Um, but my, my, I, anyone who um, has listened to me before, RPGs is my real, RPGs. Is yes, my real, is that's my my true like love. Well, I'll bring you on uh, with the RPG. I'll save the RPGs for you because I think there's some upcoming. Like there's one for the Lynx that's upcoming. Um, some other ones, yeah. So I'll save those for you. Anything with like a, a wizard, a warrior, and a rogue, I'm fine. I'm in. You don't even You're need to. Is the, there stats? Is with there skill trees, min maxing. If is there's there... items to collect that are random yeah. drops, like that's that's your that's my jam. Shit. And then I then I do like FPSs as well quite a bit, but it's a whole other yeah. world of stuff. And it's not a lot of FPS going on on this oh, it's realm. A different world. There's um, a little bit on the Jaguar because that's kind of the you yeah. can get into the 3D stuff. There's a smattering here and there, but they're not high action ones usually. Yeah, I a little bit more tile based. I, or... I'm sure people would know better than than me, but I feel like Doom and like um, was kind of the beginnings yes. of in yeah. Quake world, which yes. was more PC. Yeah. And then I think like um, uh, 
N64 had like GoldenEye, which was yep. like, but that's a very odd game. It's like it is a FPS, but it's kind of this strategy. And 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 that's game. a huge speedrunning community for that oh my one. God. Huge, um, huge speedrunner. Yeah. yeah. Because that was like a really popular first-person shooter, so people really got into it. So anything that's really popular will be like, yeah, we're just gonna yeah. speed run this. But I was the, and then and I don't then, think you've played Wizard's Dungeon, which no. is an overhead um, dungeon crawler with power-ups. Kind of Zelda so style. Good, very Zelda style. Yeah. Um, in terms of rooms, like flip screen rooms, like yeah. going from room to room, but not in like. Oh, you get a special sword. It's more like you power up your projectile. You power up yeah, your yeah. That makes sense. Um, your melee weapon, but it's really, really good. Uh, curious about the revive eight hundred XL clone that was announced. No more details yet on that. It's like this, except modern. It's got HDMI out. You can plug in USB joysticks. Um, looks really cool. There's no pedigree as far as I can tell in terms of the developers. There's very little. One person actually emailed them and they just said stay tuned pretty much and yeah. didn't really give any more details. But I don't know how it's going to be price wise compared to a fully loaded system. Mm -hmm. um, like it's that system with it doesn't say really what it's if it's like fully loaded. Like you can play games off of it. You don't need that extra cart that I have. I don't know if it's got full memory, which I'm guessing it would, because that would be stupid not to. So I also have an um, upgraded video card in that. So each of those is like $100. Say the say the, the AVG card's $100. The, um, the Wi-Fi, names escapes me right now, Fujinet is $100. The video cards upgrades $100. The memory's $100, just on average. That's 400 plus 150, 650, and actually might be competitive. That VBXL, it's the video card. It actually What's might that be competitive. Uh, <laughs> Sprite loves water. Okay, okay. I was just, I was... Loves. That's pretty new. I was like, Him constant splashing just... in the water. <laughs> it's having a having a ball. He's <laughs> yeah. going out to the. He more loves bowls, and. The... I don't know if Chad. I can think it's hear. coming through a little bit. I don't know if Chad can hear, but it's it's a war is going on, you know. Yeah, but Chad. it does look pretty cool. So I'm I'm I don't know if it's gonna be vaporware. It's all renders right now, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, what's coming up on the show? We're going back to regular scheduled programming next Friday. We've been on break for a month and a half. Oh yeah, for a bit. Yeah, since the awards show. Oh yeah, and then you went for a trip. And, and then I went for a trip, and then I went for another trip. So it was like, oh, that was a good time to take a break. Um, but now nothing audible. Um, yeah, I, I won't be free every Friday, but I'm I'm down to pop in for sure. Or sweet, because like... Darcy's here every second Friday, so I I'll call on you and see if you're available yeah. the other second Fridays. Where, right now, my work um I'm doing a four day work week, which is like oh, the, the, the company best. the company wide like idea. But some Fridays they have company mandated things, which oh, okay. would be like you know like a team building shit like which is like but trust falling <laughs> luckily it's not to that level i think it's because we're all yeah. working remotely so like just oh, to, just the yeah. effort of getting everyone in the same room is actually meaningful yeah. you get to see bob every once because we have zero water cooler moments like it like my job right. is entirely like you you get on a call you talk about work you, you closes like which is i actually prefer that like i don't want to go to some place and just be stuck like yeah. but but it is actually like valuable to have like a conversation with your colleagues that's just <laughs> semi-casual but it is different in person it's so different like if we were doing this remote it's like there's this slight delay and it's a and you talk over each other and it's a bit weird and that can't be solved like no, it there's just no way it's very hard to solve that oh thrust hurt sprite yeah it's going nuts in there um but but in any case some of my um uh fridays are busy but uh, most of yeah. them are pretty good now which is Sweet. nice and then also some fridays i want to just you know <laughs> check out go yeah. do go do things or go on of trips course. for long weekends or things but yeah. i'll definitely be able to swing on yeah you can do long weekends on uh any friday saturday sunday that's yeah, amazing yeah. i'm really i'm really lucky that that's like what they're doing right off to now. look at cats oh good luck with good your cats yeah hopefully you'll find a nice cat or um yeah at least pet some cats yeah. <laughs> so um coming up 
uh, we're going to be playing probably Lynx Games next one. Chase, Circuit Dude, and Skirt Scooternia. Um, that's going to be a Darcy day uh, next Friday, and that kicks off our back to Tuesday, Friday schedule. Perfect. Uh, Does taking he do enough evenings? Time off. Uh, he does noons as He's well. noons, cool. Comes over on the ferry and then stays over and then goes back the next yeah, day. Yeah, that makes sense. Because uh, he does, he has a game night at his store. Oh, yeah. Board game night, right? So he go, does this, then we go out for dinner usually, and then he goes to the board games at his store, and then he plays that till like midnight, and then uh, he goes back in the morning. Uh, oh, thank you so much. Yeah, it is it was a fun so uh, uh it's uh, fun. It's today. fun to be here and chill out and play oh, some games. Yeah. Guys. It's just a relaxing time. You play some games. You chat with some people. Yeah. Uh, then there's a 2600 day on the second. The good thing is that there's tons of games built up that I need to play. Uh, grocery game, Final D, Lupin Three, A Legend of Zelda, on the 2600. Um, and then after that, another 2600 day. Um, we have some after darks. We need to do some more high scores. Um, that's probably going to be on the 5th as well. Uh, that's held by Dan. That's that high score game. We're going to be playing Raptor and Uzi the Goose Slime Quest. Another VHZC <laughs> game. I don't know if I've ever finished that one. That's a, that's a challenging one. That's a more amazing one. Yeah. Uh, I think. If I'm, I'm remembering correctly. Um... And then round three later on of the Atari Homebrew High Score Contest. Um, we have to do some After Darks for Gravitic Mines on the Jaguar. He must be just soaked in water. <laughs> He's cleaning himself now. <laughs> He's like, oh my God. He's got that look that he was up to trouble, you know? You that know, is the just... most I've ever heard him splash. Ever. It was crazy. A little diva over yeah. here. Yeah. Um, yeah, we need to get our pilot ID card. We're on our way. We think we're half, more than halfway through finishing Gravitic Mines. Of course, our never-ending quest of finishing all the Load Runner levels. It's a long. We made it up to level thirty-four, so we have to. I love that. That's just going. like thirty-four to question, thirty-five to question mark. <laughs> yeah, it's that's like eh? well, we don't know wh how far I'm going to make it on that day. Oop. Um, that's where the money's at is the cat hot tub streams you uh, know the cats I, love it when they're just when they're like bathed what and... if I could <laughs> bring in the bowl it's like a dog water dish they actually drink the water out of that but he also has fun in it and then put something bigger to contain this but it won't contain the splashes yeah. because he goes he puts his paw in and flicks it back and water gets everywhere we get over all of everything i saw i saw a video that made me laugh of this is like this people that were like our cat loves to swim and they had it in this like <laughs> this borderline like um flotation like vest with like a shark fin and they put it in the water and i've never seen a sadder cat <laughs> just like floating loves and they're like and they would swim. cut to them and then be like it's his favorite part of the day and they cut to the cat and he's just like paddling <laughs> so i feel like it's very special cats to, to do yeah that some cats stuff. actually loved i would i would believe it if the cat went in That's not right. just cut to when cat they cut to like you know you're in trouble when you just yeah. you have to cut away to the thing yeah sprites in the bathroom we put his bowl because we used to have it upstairs the water bowl but he would do that upstairs just and there'd be water everywhere so we had to put it in the shower and now it's fine because he can splash yeah, he all he, he wants. Do his thing. He has a fun time splashing away. So yeah, cats are so funny, right? Like they just like, I I thing I love about cats is like I've met him. Like all cats have a similar cat vibe. Yep. But like every cat has its own like little personality. Completely like, just... different. Every cat I've ever had, um, totally different. Oh yeah. Different moods, different cuddle, like amount of cuddling. Um, strange behaviors like atari chews braided cables yeah that's his thing sprite if you notice there's no toilet paper hanging up in the bathroom it's in a drawer sprite will chew a roll of toilet paper to bits <laughs> No other paper, just toilet so paper. So interesting, the little minds of these he guys. He doesn't go like this to it. He takes it off and chews it on the floor. Oh, and just, so it's everywhere. It's out of control. So every cat yeah, is completely different. Um, Agreed. The show, not the cats. <gasps> I don't like the cats. It's <laughs> all good. I'm, I'm like... It's all good. I have had dogs in the past, too. Yeah. A long time ago. They were great, but too much for me. 
They're too yeah. intense. And I'm I, I'm in a place in my life where I never want to take away the joy of somebody else. Just because I yeah. have, just because I maybe don't get joy from something, does not mean that you don't. And yeah, I never want to take exactly. away your joy, man. How can you be down on somebody else's joy? It's not, Unless it it's hurts not, somebody else. It's not course, my way. But that, yeah, exactly. Conf- yeah, he does make confetti. You're naughty, but cute. That's what we tolerate you. That's what this is <laughs> nose, dude. No, that's his only thing that he ever does. That's like kind of naughty. Is the toilet paper, and we've solved it. Other than that, he's an amazing, um, friendly, gentle cat. He's never hissed in his life. Wow. He's never gotten mad at us. We like, you know, clip his claws. He just tries to get away. He doesn't get he's mad. Chill. Oh god. You know, he's super chill cat. Thanks for hanging out with us, everyone. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Amazing 7800 games. All of them are available for download in the Atari Age forums. So grab them. Um, but I want to say thank you to everyone who joined us. Al Nefer, Thrust, Beef Supreme 07, Dan AVC, Carl, uh, G. Carl G, Ivory Tower Collection, uh, Bahamut uh, Jiraiye. Jir- Jir- Dude, that's a god wow. in D&D. Uh, Bahamut? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. He's... Nice. Rendered Ghost. Uh, I believe it's a RC dragon 70? god, if I'm remembering correctly. Oh, wow. No wonder he named himself that. That's if amazing. I, if I recall. In the, uh, the Greyhawk lore. Um, anybody else? Same people. Chancel- Do- Ch- Chalcedony Mao. Or sometimes we say Chalcedony Meow. Dude, Draconic <laughs> Pantheon. You know what's up, dude. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm a D&D head. I love that stuff. Uh, VVG Double Down. Uh, I'm going to email you right after this. I uh, got some more information for you. Uh, Daryl1970, Gamma Dev, Atarius Maximus. Awesome game. Uh, right off the top of the show. This is Pole Mapspot. We got <laughs> Pole Mapbot. <laughs> yeah, thanks for tuning in, Pole Mapbot. Uh, <laughs> and then and Meow as well. Meow. And everybody else. And Mr. Zarnwoop. Thanks so much. Yeah, thanks everyone. And everybody else uh, who is lurking or watching on YouTube. Hi, YouTube, if you're still watching. Yeah. Um, and uh, we will uh, have a good weekend and uh, we'll see you next Friday. So. This coming Tuesday is the last Tuesday we're not doing a show. And next Friday, we're back to full. <laughs> Got to catch up on these games. Uh, so we're out of here. And uh, we'll see you again soon. Bye, everyone. Bye.